Chapter 1381. Completely different from before. After this cold cry was made, the black fog that spread over the distant sky fluctuated before scattering apart. A blue figure slowly stepped through the air. Within a couple of flashes, the figure appeared a thousand feet from Xiao Yan. I was wondering who it was. It is actually you, a homeless stray. Unexpectedly, you possess the courage to return to this place. In that case, I will also capture you and bring you back with the rest. The ninth Tianzin's eyes looked at Xiao Yan in a chilly manner as he coldly laughed. I'm afraid that you do not possess the qualifications. Xiao Yan smiled. If he had met this ninth Tianzin before entering the heavenly tomb, things might have been a little troublesome. However, just Xiao Yan's current strength was no weaker than his. If they were to exchange blows, Xiao Yan was confident he could force the ninth Tianzin to remain here forever. Xiao Yan has never feared anyone within the same level. What arrogant words. You really think that you can be haughty with the growth in your strength. Today, I'm afraid that you won't be able to leave this place. The ninth Tianzin coldly cried out. However, he did not attack immediately. He was no fool. He could tell that Xiao Yan's strength had improved by leaps and bounds because he had seriously injured Xi Jian with just one strike. Hence, he would naturally be a little careful, given his cautious nature. Qi. The black fog behind the ninth Tianzin rippled after his cold voice sounded. Three figures immediately rushed over and stood beside the ninth Tianzin. Their sinister eyes swept over Xiao Yan as they laughed in a strange manner, it is actually this brat. It is rumored that our Hall of Souls has failed many times to capture him. Why don't we act together and capture him? We will be given great credit if we can bring this brat back. Kyle Lin and the others on the wall were startled when they saw the sudden appearance of these people. They could sense the frightening auras of these four people. Xiao Yan's eyes swept over the three black-robed old men who had suddenly appeared. These three were clearly experts from the Hall of Souls. Their strengths were also around that of an eight-star Du Zun. Thus, they were relatively strong. It seemed that theses were the four eight-star Du Zun experts mentioned in the information Xiao Yan had obtained. Ha ha, those from the Hall of Souls always like to do such things. A loud laugh was transmitted from behind Xiao Yan when the three black-robed old men appeared. They were the three Ha elders who Yao Lao had hired. Due to the frightening lineup that Xiao Yan had brought with him, the Yan Alliance had already stabilized the situation. Those enemy experts who had charged onto the wall had been eliminated. The remaining individuals from the Profound Lion sect had lost a great amount of their vigor from earlier because of the sudden appearance of these dozens of elite Du Zuns. They did not dare to randomly charge over at the moment. The three Ha elders managed to find the time to come to Xiao Yan's aid after stabilizing the situation. The three of them were quite well known in the Central Plains region. Hence, they were not afraid of the Hall of Souls, so their tones were a little rude. Three Ha elders? It is unexpected that you old farts who refuse to die have also come. Looks like you have really lived too long. Even your brains are diluted. The expression of the ninth Tianzin in the sky sank when he saw the three Ha elders. He immediately let out a cold laugh. From the looks of it, he had clearly heard of the Ha elders. Ha ha, other people might be afraid of your Hall of Souls, but we are not. This world is so huge. Do you really think that your Hall of Souls can dominate it? The eldest Ha brother curled his mouth. He did not pay heed to this threat from the ninth Tianzin. Junior Pavilion Chief, this noisy old fellow will be left to you. The three of us will take care of the three others. What do you say? Xiao Yan slightly smiled and immediately nodded upon hearing the words of the eldest Ha brother. The three Ha elders were also eight star Du Zuns. It would not be a problem for them to deal with three experts of similar strength. Ha ha, in that case, let's see who will be able to finish off their opponent first. The oldest Ha brother loudly laughed. Du Qi surged out of his body in all directions. The second and third Ha brothers followed close behind after which, they separated and rushed to attack the other two black-robed elders. Humph, since all of you wish to deliver yourself to us, we shall accept your offers. Those three black-robed elders chuckled in a sinister tone when they saw the three old Hu brothers rushing over. Dark fog surged out of their bodies as they moved, transforming into three black balls of smoke that heavily collided with the Hu brothers. Immediately, frightening energy fluctuations swiftly expanded. The ninth Tianzin frowned when he saw the six individuals engage in a fight within an instant. He had not expected Xiao Yan to bring so many experts from the Central Plains. Our mission this time around is to capture all the members of the Xiao clan. Looks like we must first deal with this person today. 
A glint flashed over the ninth Tianzin's eyes before a ferocious glow appeared in them. He clenched his hand without any unnecessary words and dark chilly air swiftly gathered. It finally turned into a layer of black crystals that covered his right hand. At the same time, his foot stepped through empty air and his body disappeared in a strange manner in front of many gazes. What swift speed! The faces of the Yan Alliance experts on the wall became anxious when they saw the ninth Tianzin disappearing in a flash. Such speed is still insufficient. Xiao Yan in the sky merely shook his head. He waved his hand to strike the empty space beside him with lightning-like speed. An illusory figure immediately appeared from the spot where the wind from his palm reached. A dark and chilly palm violently clashed with Xiao Yan's hand. Bang! A wind containing a dark chill mixed with a strong heat before erupting from the point of contact as both palms clashed. Space itself was shaken until it became distorted. Eight star do zun? The powerful wind erupted and the ninth Tianzin's body appeared, but his expression changed because of the hot and cold forces that were erupting around his arm like floodwater. A groan was emitted from his throat as he was forced back over a dozen steps. Shock immediately surged onto his face. After an initial exchange, he had suddenly realized that the current Xiao Yan had reached the eighth star of the Duzun class. The ninth Tianzin clearly remembered when he met with Xiao Yan half a year ago. Back then, Xiao Yan had just reached the fifth star. Although he had sensed that Xiao Yan's aura had soared, he had not expected this great increase to reach such a terrifying extent. The experts of the Yan Alliance on the wall erupted into a cheer when they saw Xiao Yan had obtained the upper hand in a head-on clash with the ninth Tianzin. A shock that could not be hidden also appeared in their eyes. By being able to force the ninth Tianzin, who was an eight-star Du Zun, back, the strength of the current Xiao Yan must have reached that of an eight-star Du Zun. Ugh, Xiao Yan had only just reached the Du Huang class when he left back then. It has only been a few short years, yet his strength has soared to such an extent. We have no choice but to admire him. Hai Bodong and the rest faced each other. He helplessly sighed a moment later during these years, he had relied on the medicinal pills accumulated by the Yan Alliance to break through to the Du Zong class after experiencing much difficulty. Originally, he thought that he was fairly quick, but there was no way for them to even compare with Xiao Yan. It has been over half a year since we last met, yet you have not even improved a little. Xiao Yan shook his head when he saw the ninth Tianzin's shock. Xiao Yan's strength had reached the peak of an eight-star Du Zun. The ninth Tianzin was now a little weaker than Xiao Yan. Back then, Xiao Yan had already been able to engage the ninth Tianzin in an intense battle with just the strength of a five-star Du Zun. Now, this so-called ninth Tianzin no longer posed even the slightest threat to him. Brat, it is still too early for you to be pleased. The ninth Tianzin's face immediately turned a little green when he heard Xiao Yan's words. A seal was formed by his hand with lightning-like speed as a muffled cry was emitted from his throat. The dark chilly air around them swiftly gathered into many thousand-foot-tall energy palms after this cry sounded. Palm wind whistled and furiously struck at Xiao Yan from all directions. Faced with the ninth Tianzin's powerful attack, Xiao Yan stepped through empty space and acted like he was taking a leisurely stroll. Many after-images appeared, causing the many large energy palms to miss. Some of the large energy palms that could not be dodged were forcefully shattered with a flick of Xiao Yan's wrist. Xiao Yan stepped through empty air in front of the countless number of gazes present. He stepped closer and closer to the ninth Tianzin. Regardless of how the red-faced ninth Tianzin tried to block Xiao Yan, he was unable to cause Xiao Yan to pause for even a moment. Watching this battle, everyone understood that Xiao Yan's strength had far surpassed the ninth Tianzin's strength. Bang! A purple-brown flame rose in Xiao Yan's hand and forcefully shattered an enormous energy palm that was approaching his body before his footsteps finally came to a stop. He lifted his head and looked at the ninth Tianzin, whose expression was a little pale. A faint smile appeared. They were both eight-star Du Zuns, but Xiao Yan's strength had surpassed him by many times. Adding the ancient insect emperor cloth and the dragon phoenix ancient armor, the ninth Tianzin's attacks were no longer able to harm him. This battle, which was on a completely different level, did not have any meaning from the beginning. He is not just at the eighth star. He is at the peak of the eighth star. This person is improving at an impossibly rapid pace. I can no longer match him. Regardless of how ugly the ninth Tianzin's expression was when he watched Xiao Yan shatter his attacks, he had to admit that his current strength was no match for Xiao Yan. He decisively clenched his teeth and stomped a foot on empty air, causing his body to suddenly withdraw. 
since you are already here, why do you need to leave? Xiao Yan grinned after seeing the ninth Tianzin flee. Xiao Yan's body slowly disappeared, and he was already behind ninth Tianzin when he appeared. His right hand gently slapped the empty air, and a cluster of black light swiftly spread while accompanied by a faint destructive aura. The ninth Tianzin's expression suddenly became pale as he sensed the annihilation aura that spread over with lightning-like speed. With Xiao Yan's current strength, unleashing a Tian class Du skill like the Great Heaven Creation Palm was like the sickle of a death god for the ninth Tianzin. The ninth Tianzin suddenly lowered his head while his heart was covered with an aura of death. He looked at the ground below and his voice sharply cried out. Fourth brother, save me. End of chapter. Chapter 1382. Fourth Tianzu, Shuhi. Xiao Yan was a little startled when he heard the ninth Tianzin's sudden screech. His peripheral vision caught sight of the ground below that been dyed red with fresh blood. From the looks of it, this hall of souls did indeed have an even stronger hidden expert who had not attacked. Regardless of whether there is a helper, I will kill this person first. Xiao Yan's eyes flickered. A ferocious glow flashed an instant later as he abruptly pushed his hand forward. The rate at which the dark black light circle spread suddenly soared. The ninth Tianzin was terrified when he sensed the frightening energy behind him. Duki erupted from his body before he swung back, but no matter how he retaliated, the spreading speed of the black light did not slow by even a little. Fourth brother. It was futile regardless how the ninth Tianzin struggled. His face also became void of color as a sharp cry once again sounded. Bang. The ground violently trembled after the second scream from the ninth Tianzin sounded. It was possible to see the ground swiftly crumble apart. Within the blink of an eye, a deep abyss that was a couple thousand feet long appeared in front of many stunned gazes. Following the appearance of this deep abyss, a nauseating bloody scent surged out in all directions, and some incomparably sharp screeches were vaguely emitted. The appearance of the deep abyss surprised Xiao Yan in the sky. It was unexpected that such a being was hiding under the ground. It seemed that the people from the Hall of Souls had come prepared. Although Xiao Yan was surprised in his heart, his reaction was not slow. He pushed his right hand forward, and a black light circle merged with the ninth Tianzin's left arm like lightning. Ah! A miserable cry was immediately emitted from the ninth Tianzin's mouth after his left arm was dragged into the black light. An unblockable tearing force surged out of the light circle. In an instant, it tore the ninth Tianzin's arm until it became blurry. If he had not unleashed all of his Du Qi to block the tearing force, his arm would have turned into dust at that moment. Even though it didn't instantly disappear, the tearing force still swiftly entered his arm and caused his muscles, blood vessels, and even bones to swiftly explode and deform. Humph. Xiao Yan coldly cried out after having successfully grabbed the ninth Tianzin and suddenly clenched his hand. The suction force within the light circle suddenly surged and pulled the rest of the ninth Tianzin's body toward it. Crack. The ninth Tianzin's heart was at a completely shock after having sensed Xiao Yan's intentions. He clenched his teeth, curled his hand into a blade, and chopped off his own arm. Trying to escape? Xiao Yan was startled when he realized that the ninth Tianzin was this ruthless. He immediately laughed in his heart. The black light circle once again sped up and grew a couple more times before once again approaching the ninth Tianzin. This caused the ninth Tianzin's speed to be severely limited. At this moment, he finally sensed just how frightening this great heaven creation palm was. When Xiao Yan was only a four-star Du Zun, the ninth Tianzin was able to rely on his strength, which had far surpassed Xiao Yan's, to block the great heaven creation palm. However, their levels were similar now. He no longer possessed any strength to resist it. Swoosh. Some despair surfaced in the ninth Tianzin's eyes, before a reaction finally occurred in the enormous abyss below. The rushing sound of wind appeared as a thousand-foot-large bloody glow erupted. It agglomerated into a blood dragon that emitted a roar as it ruthlessly charged toward Xiao Yan with a shocking momentum. Xiao Yan's expression changed as he sensed a ripple that was suddenly transmitted from below, but he did not turn around to receive the attack. Instead, his eyes were dark and cold as they stared at the ninth Tianzin's face, which had revealed a joy when this attack appeared. He coldly smiled and pushed his hand forward again, and a black light circle rushed out with lightning-like speed. Finally, it devoured the ninth Tianzin's body. Ah! The ninth Tianzin's terrified cry was emitted from within the black light after being devoured by it. He did not expect Xiao Yan to completely ignore the powerful blood dragon attack. Bang! The blood dragon that had whistled over ruthlessly collided with Xiao Yan's body, 
the moment the black circular light devoured the ninth Tianzin's body. As it ruthlessly collided with Xiao Yan, a rich blood-colored light exploded in the sky. Watching the spreading blood light, which bloomed in the sky like a blood-colored sun, the expressions of Kai Lin's group on the wall changed. They had not expected Xiao Yan to endure this blow. The frightening energy contained within the blood dragon earlier was enough to kill a six-star Du Zun on the spot. The wall had descended into a dead silence. There was still some joy from earlier, but the joy was permeated with shock at this moment. Those from the Hall of Souls always like to hide in the darkness like rats. This silence continued for over a dozen seconds as everyone's heart sank. At this moment, a faint voice suddenly echoed across the sky. A swoosh sound appeared as almost every pair of eyes gathered in the sky. A skinny figure was stepping through the air as he slowly walked out of the spreading blood light. An earth-shaking cheer abruptly erupted from the fortress when that skinny figure appeared in front of their eyes. Huh. Kai Lin and the others sighed in relief when they heard the cheers beside their ears. They had been terrified by the unexpected situation earlier. Huh. A faint exclamation rang out of the deep abyss when Xiao Yan appeared to be unharmed after receiving that attack. A countless number of people heard a splashing sound from the abyss. It appeared as though the blood was flowing within it. The sound of flowing liquid became louder in front of countless pairs of eyes. A moment later, a blood color suddenly surfaced from the deep abyss. It was a vicious scarlet sea. The viscous blood sea continued to rise from the deep abyss. It finally came to a slow halt when it was level with edges of the deep abyss. The blood sea flowed, and a completely blood-red figure slowly appeared. The figure lifted both of his scarlet eyes as he looked indifferently at Xiao Yan. A hoarse voice resounded over the sky. You are indeed worthy of being a person that the Hull chief attaches much importance to. You do possess the ability to be proud. Xiao Yan studied that human figure below. At this moment, this person was wearing a long blood-colored robe. His long hair was scarlet in color, and his red eyes caused one's heart to feel a bloody scent spread over when they looked in one's direction. This sudden blood figure also caused many experts from the profound lion sect to be stunned. Even they were unaware that such a mysterious expert was present in their camp. What frightening strength this person has. The hearts of some experts from the Yan Alliance sank upon seeing this blood figure. Although they were unable to sense the blood figure's exact strength, it was obvious that the strength of this person was the strongest within the profound lion sect's camp. Shu He Zunji? The three Ha elders, who were battling those three experts from the Hall of Soul, had stopped because of this scene. Their eyes gravely observed that blood-colored figure as they stated in a deep voice. Shu He Zunji? Xiao Yan lifted his brow. Junior Pavilion Chief, be careful. This person is an extremely renowned expert within the Central Plains. His blood-transforming grand skill is extremely mysterious. Many top-level experts have died in his hands back then. However, he suddenly vanished, and it seems that he has joined the Hall of Souls. The eldest hub brother spoke with a grave expression. Ha ha, that was a name from a long time ago. All of you can now address me as 4th Tianzin or perhaps Shuhi Tianzin. The human figure, who was standing in the sea of blood, lifted his head and laughed in a hoarse manner when he heard the eldest hub brother's words. 4th Tianzin, ha. Huh. Xiao Yan narrowed his eyes. The Hall of Souls really had many hidden experts. This person should be a peak du zun of the ninth star. He was only one step away from the Bansheng class. It was unexpected that the Hall of Souls would dispatch such an expert. If he had not hurried back in time, the Yan Alliance fates would have been worrying. You really act leisurely. However, you are too lazy to even rescue the life of your companion. Xiao Yan faintly laughed. He randomly waved his hand, and a corpse that had been torn until its form was altered flew out. Finally, it landed in front of the fourth Tianzin. From the looks of it, it was the ninth Tianzin who had been struck by the great heaven creation palm earlier. However, he had completely lost his life. It is pointless to rescue Trash, who has failed many times. The fourth Tianzin glanced at the corpse. He widened his mouth and a blood arrow shot from it. This blood arrow caused the ninth Tianzin to turn into a pool of blood that exploded. His voice was void of any emotion as he spoke. Emotions are indeed unnecessary to you people from the Hall of Souls. Xiao Yan mockingly lifted his mouth and spoke after witnessing this scene. Ha ha, emotions should be abandoned. The fourth Tianzin laughed when he heard Xiao Yan's words. He immediately shook his head and softly sighed, originally, I did not wish to intervene, but that fellow is too useless and even ended up dying in your hands. Since this is the case, allow the old me to act on his behalf. 
the old me will bring back all the people with the blood of the Xiao clan. The sea of blood in the deep abyss suddenly shot out and formed many large blood pillars, after the fourth Tianzin's words sounded. The blood fog spread, and a dense bone-chilling aura slowly swept out in all directions from the fourth Tianzin's body. End of chapter. Chapter 1383? Blood Devouring Skill. A cold and sinister aura swept away from the fourth Tianzin's body like a storm. The blood of those within his aura boiled at this moment, regardless of whether or not they were from the Yan Alliance or Profound Lion sect. Immediately, one could hear a bang, bang, bang sound as countless numbers of bodies exploded. A pool of bloody pulp dyed the ground until it was incomparably red. This indiscriminate killing by the fourth Tianzin naturally shocked both parties. Those people close to the abyss hurriedly pulled back. Within a short instant, the entire area had become empty. Bastard, what are you doing? Don't tell me that you have forgotten our agreement. A short distance away, Shi Tian, who had been seriously injured by a strike from Xiao Yan, had finally caught his breath at this moment. He immediately became furious and cried out loud when he saw the fourth Tianzin began to kill people from the profound lion sect's army. The fourth Tianzin floated over the sea of blood. His eyes were indifferent as they glanced at Shi Tian, who had cried out furiously. He slowly raised his hand and pointed at Shi Tian from some distance away, before abruptly clenching his hand. Bang! Shi Tian's furious cries suddenly halted though when fourth Tianzin clenched his hand. Shi Tong's body exploded in an instant, causing blood to shoot out in all directions. The faces of the profound lion sex experts were greatly shocked when they saw that this person had killed even the chief of the profound lion sect. Although, they were extremely furious, none of them dared to let out an angry cry. Even Shi Tian was unable to block a random palm from the fourth Tianzin. Even less needed to be said for them, and some of the experts in the profound lion sect's camp had been threatened and lured over to the Hall of Souls. They could not be called loyal to the profound lion sect anymore. Naturally, they would not take the initiative to help them. Pull back the Yan Alliance's front line. This fellow experiences mood swings. In any case, it would be a suicidal for an ordinary army to get involved. Kai Lin knit her brows and ordered in a deep voice. Understood. Xiao Ding and Xiao Li by the side nodded when they heard her command. They quickly relayed her orders to swiftly withdraw all soldiers outside of the fortress. Now, we can only hope that Xiao Yan will be able to deal with this person. Otherwise, the mysterious yellow fortress will not avoid a terrible bloodshed. Hai Bodong spoke with a grave face. I. Even Kai Lin could only nod her head when she heard these words. The strength of that so-called fourth Tianzin was obviously great. None of the people present could contend with him. Hence, they could only place all their hope on Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan in the sky frowned as he watched the fourth Tianzin randomly cause a person's body to self-destruct. An expression of contemplation flashed across his eyes. This person is called Shuhi Tianzin, Blood River Tianzin. Moreover, he also knows the blood transforming grand skill. He probably can control the blood in a person's body. Xiao Yan had come across experts who could control the blood of another person. However, none of them had been as tough as this fourth Tianzin. A six-star Du Zun's body had exploded with a flick of his hand. Although Shi Tian's serious injuries factored in, the mysterious technique of the fourth Tianzin was the main reason. Splash! The sea of blood suddenly rippled, while Xiao Yan was thinking to himself. The fourth Tianzin stepped forward and walked through empty air. He took a step at a time and finally stopped a short distance away from Xiao Yan. His blood-colored hair fluttered and a bloody scent quietly spread across the sky. Peak of an eight-star Du Zun. This is indeed quite strong. The fourth Tianzin studied Xiao Yan. An ugly smile rose onto his face as he lifted his hand and violent clenched it in Xiao Yan's direction. The space in front of the fourth Tianzin immediately became distorted after he clenched his hand. A thought passed through Xiao Yan's heart as he observed the fourth Tianzin with a frown. A majestic Du Qi broke from his body. The Du Qi transformed into a fierce flame that wrapped around him. Du Qi will not be able to block my blood transforming grand skill. The fourth Tianzin laughed in a hoarse voice when he saw Xiao Yan's Du Qi. The fourth Tianzin's words had just sounded when Xiao Yan sensed the blood within his body began to churn uncontrollably. He could vaguely feel that his blood was about to burst from their vessels. Xiao Yan's expression changed slightly when he sensed a transformation occurring in his body. This fellow's so-called blood-transforming grand skill was indeed unique. However, Xiao Yan was about to suppress the churning blood within his body when his heart suddenly pounded. He quickly noticed a strange strength spreading from his heart. 
Finally, this strength spread to his blood vessels, and the boiling feeling disappeared almost a moment the strength came into contact with his blood. This is the merged bloodline from the heavenly tomb? This change caused Xiao Yan to feel startled as some surprise flashed across his eyes. It was unexpected that this newly formed bloodline was this powerful. Even the fourth Tianzin's blood transforming grand skill was unable to affect it. Looks like your blood transforming grand skill is not as strong as you described it. Xiao Yan lifted his head after sensing the blood gradually calming within his body. He smiled at the fourth Tianzin while he spoke. What happened? The fourth Tianzin was startled when there was no response from Xiao Yan's body. He frowned. This blood transforming grand skill was a Tian class do skill. Even some elite Ban Shengs would be affected by it, causing them to split their attention to suppress it. Why was it that this skill was completely useless against Xiao Yan? Xiao Yan slightly smiled. Both of his hands quickly formed many mysterious seals. After the formation of these seals, a mysterious clan tattoo slowly appeared on his brows. Xiao Clan's clan tattoo? You have actually activated the Xiao Clan's bloodline? The fourth Tianzin was startled when he saw the clan tattoo on Xiao Yan's brows. The Xiao Clan's bloodline had already been wasted, everyone knew that. Why could Xiao Yan summon the clan tattoo? No one could answer the fourth Tianzin question. Xiao Yan's aura suddenly soared when the clan tattoo appeared. Within a short instant, it was no longer inferior to the fourth Tianzin's aura. The strengthening effect of the clan tattoo was perfectly displayed at this moment. Huh. Xiao Yan comfortably inhaled a mouthful of air as he sensed a surging Du Qi from within his body. He immediately lifted his head and smiled at the frowning fourth Tianzin. His foot stepped forward, and his body vanished the moment his foot landed. Even though the blood transforming grand skill is useless against you, I am still able to sense the flow of the blood in your body to determine your position. Therefore, your speed is useless against me. The fourth Tianzin coldly laughed when he saw Xiao Yan vanish. He swiftly took three steps back as wave after wave of blood red Du Qi flowed out of his body and gathered into a thick blood cuticle on his palm. He then ruthlessly smashed it toward the empty space to the right, come out. A stench-filled palm wind arrived and the space immediately became distorted. A figure also appeared. It was Xiao Yan. Although Xiao Yan's position was detected, he did not show any signs of dodging. Instead, he stepped forward and allowed the fourth Tianzin's attack to land on his chest. At the same time, a hot fist suddenly whizzed out. Its swiftness did not allow time for any reactions. The palm wind ruthlessly struck the fourth Tianzin's body. This fighting method did not involve any skill. It was a literal exchange of blows. Bang. The fists of the two ruthlessly landed on the other party's body. However, Xiao Yan's shoulders merely shook after receiving a blow from the fourth Tianzin. His expression was not altered. On the other hand, the fourth Tianzin was forced a couple of steps back by Xiao Yan's punch. His throat also emitted a moan. Xiao Yan's incomparably hot fist wind was too much for him to endure. It seems that you will not be able to endure if we exchange blows in this manner. Xiao Yan flicked his clothes with a smiling face and softly commented. The fourth Tianzin's face was gloomy. His eyes stared at the cloth on Xiao Yan's body. After having exchanged blows, he was naturally aware that his attack had mostly been absorbed by that strange cloth earlier. However, he could not understand why the remaining force didn't harm Xiao Yan. The rest of the attack had naturally been absorbed by the Dragon Phoenix ancient armor, hidden in Xiao Yan's skin, but such a secret would never be understood by the fourth Tianzin, no matter how he thought about it. Not only were Xiao Yan's clothes strange, but even his skin was extremely mysterious. The fourth Tianzin stared at Xiao Yan in a dark and solemn manner. Xiao Yan was immune to his attacks, but he wasn't able to ignore the other party's attacks. Such a battle really caused one to feel stifled. However, this fourth Tianzin was not an ordinary person. He was aware that his attack from earlier did not harm Xiao Yan. The only reason was that its strength was insufficient. Since this strength was lacking, he should use a greater strength to smash Xiao Yan into dregs. Blood transforming grand skill, great devouring blood technique. The fourth Tianzin's face was ferocious. A sinister cry resounded over the land like thunder. After this cry sounded, the bodies of anyone weaker than an elite Du Zun within a 10,000 foot radius exploded at this moment. They transformed into blood that continuously poured into the fourth Tianzin's body. At the same time, the sea of blood in the abyss below began to whistle as it transformed into a monstrous bloody wave that surged into his body. 
While the fourth Tianzin was devouring all this blood, his originally still aura started to diverge. After which, it slowly soared. Xiao Yan, do not threaten this venerable self. Today, I will capture all the blood of your Xiao clan, along with the bloodline that you have activated. The sky was altered as the sea of blood spread. A sinister voice that was accompanied by a frightening pressure that pervaded the sky. End of chapter. Chapter 1384. Nine Changes to Turn Sheng. A solemn expression flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes as he sensed a fourth Tianzin soaring aura. This person possessed some ability to form such a fierce name for himself within the central plains. The fourth Tianzin's current aura had clearly surpassed that of an ordinary expert at the peak of the Duzun class. Of course, this did not mean that the fourth Tianzin had already reached the Bansheng class, because such a thing was impossible. There might only be a step from the peak of the Duzun class to the Bansheng class, but this step was as vast as the sky. The gap between the two was so terrifying that it was difficult to describe. This could be seen from the way Yao Lao's strength had remained at the peak of the Duzun class for many years. It wasn't until he borrowed the strength from his new body to break through. Regardless of how frightening one's talent was, trying to reach the Bansheng class was not an easy task. This short step was one that countless of talented individuals hated and failed. They would feel an incomparable regret until the moment they died. The reason that this occurred was because this short one step hit a unique training method. Only those experts who had approached this level would be able to sense this kind of unique training. Some of the top experts in the Central Plains region called this unique training method the Nine Changes to Turn Sheng, Saint. The so-called Nine Changes could be considered a quantifier to measure the gap between the peak of the Duzun class and the Bansheng class. After all, the gap between the two was really too terrifying. One needed to use an even finer ranking system with enormous positions between levels to differentiate the difficulty. The Nine Changes were not complicated. Simply put, they were considered nine compressions and suppressions. The moment the Du Qi within the body of an expert at the peak of the Du Zun class showed signs of being full and could no longer be increased was the moment the nine changes began. One would then need to shrink and suppress the Du Qi within one's body. Only then would the interior of one's body have enough space to accept new Du Qi. One needed to perform this compression once the Du Qi became filled again. This cycle would repeat, and only after nine suppressions would it reach a complete state. The Du Qi within one's body would experience a change in quality under each compression. Only then would one cross over the unmeasurable skylight gap and advance to the Sheng class. Due to this, some of the experts who had reached this stage would describe the training hidden at the peak of the Du Zun class as nine changes. One could only become a Sheng saint after nine changes. It was easy to talk about these nine changes, but they would really test one's limits. Just imagine the frightening amount of Du Qi an expert at the peak of the Du Zun class could contain. That needed to be filled and filled nine times. Such a requirement was indeed worthy of the description horrifying. Although the ninth Tianzin from earlier was also at the peak of the Du Zun class, he was a one-change peak Du Zun. He was even a little weaker than Xiao Yan after he had activated the clan tattoo. After having absorbed so much energy from the fresh blood, the fourth Tianzin had soared to the third change. Of course, the Bansheng class was still far enough away that it was difficult to feel. If the fourth Tianzin reached the Bansheng class, Xiao Yan would not have a chance of victory. The fourth Tianzin's eyes also became scarlet with his soaring aura. Although this blood-transforming great skill was able to absorb the energy from the blood of a person, the sequela was quite serious. Within one month of using it, the fourth Tianzin's body would enter a state where he was close to death. Even someone at the Du Wang class would easily be able to kill him. Therefore, the fourth Tianzin would usually not dare to use this secret technique unless he had no choice, but for this current situation, he would not only fail his mission if he did not activate it, he would also be defeated by Xiao Yan. This was something that he could not endure. Roar. His scarlet eyes stared at Xiao Yan. A dense smile surfaced on his face as a chilling roar was emitted from his throat. Chi Chi. Waves of frightening blood-colored fog surged from the fourth Tianzin's body in all directions, after he roared. It gathered into a thick blood cloud as a stench spread from it. Xiao Yan frowned as he stared at the bloody cloud in the sky. He could sense the frightening energy that had gathered within the bloody cloud, and he did not dare to slight it. His hand rubbed in front of him and four clusters of heavenly flames appeared. A high temperature quickly spread when these heavenly flames appeared. They incinerated the surrounding stench. 
Xiao Yan inhaled another breath of air after summoning the four clusters of heavenly flames. His hand seal changed, and a cluster of gray flames was spat out of his mouth. This flame might not be as strong as those four heavenly flames, but it emitted an extremely powerful aura. This was the fake heavenly flame that Xiao Yan had refined, life-transforming flame. Five Ring Flame Expelling Technique A low and deep cry was emitted from Xiao Yan's mouth as the five clusters of flames in front of him suddenly soared. They turned into 5,000 feet large fire spirits and gave off many loud beast roars above Xiao Yan's head. Gather. The fire spirits quickly took shape. Xiao Yan once again coldly cried out. Five enormous fire spirits formed a mysterious formation and began to rapidly rotate. Finally, it turned into a couple hundred feet across five colored fire coil with a buzzing wind. It rotated wildly above his head as a hot wind spread. The bloody cloud in the distance began to fluctuate. Humph. Bloody evil sky demon palm. The fourth Tianzin let out a cold snort when he saw this from afar. He widened his mouth and a blood pillar shot out. It shot into the bloody cloud in the sky, and the cloud's color immediately dimmed. The blood cloud churned and suddenly burst apart. A 10,000-foot-large blood palm shot from the blood cloud in front of a countless number of shocked eyes. It ruthlessly slammed toward Xiao Yan. The might of the blood palm was extremely frightening, and an enormous palm outline appeared on the distant ground when it was still 10,000 feet in the air. Xiao Yan, watch how this venerable self shall slam you into dust. What arrogant words. Xiao Yan's eyes turned cold when he heard the explosive cry that was suddenly emitted from the fourth Tianzin. His hand seal immediately changed, and a low cry was emitted from his mouth, five ring flame expelling coil. Buzz buzz. The enormous five-colored fire coil in the sky suddenly shot forth after Xiao Yan's cry sounded. Within a couple of flashes, it tore through empty space and ruthlessly collided with the huge blood palm. Bang. The two collided in a frightening manner, and a cold blood and hot flame exploded in the sky. Terrifying energy swept apart in front of many shocked eyes. At this moment, even the clouds had been forcefully shattered into dust. The fourth Tianzin narrowed his eyes as he watched a frightening energy hurricane form in the sky. He had just pulled back by some distance when a chill was transmitted from behind him. He suddenly turned his head, and a face that contained an icy smile appeared within his eyes. Xiao Yan? Seeing Xiao Yan suddenly appear behind him, the fourth Tianzins abruptly shrank despite his attitude. He had failed to sense just when Xiao Yan had moved. Great Heaven Creation Palm. A strange smile surfaced on Xiao Yan's face when he noticed a fourth Tianzin's shock. His right hand violently slammed forward without any hesitation, and a dark black light circle was formed with lightning-like speed. Blood Demon Robe. Shock surfaced in fourth Tianzin's heart while he faced Xiao Yan's ferocious attack. Fortunately, he was not an ordinary person. Blood immediately flowed through his pores and quickly formed a thick uticle layer on his body. Bang! Xiao Yan's palm wind was just like lightning as it ruthlessly smashed into the fourth Tianzin's body. An incomparable wind caused the blood cuticle on the fourth Tianzin's body to crack an inch at a time. Grug! Although there was the blood demon cuticle blocking the attack, the remnant wind still forced a fourth Tianzin to spit out a mouthful of blood. His body borrowed this push to quickly fly backwards. Trying to leave? The fourth Tianzin's body had just flown back when a cold smile slid across Xiao Yan's face. Xiao Yan had finally managed to launch a sneak attack by using the opportunity created by the Du Qi Void within the fourth Tianzin's body after he had used the bloody evil sky demon palm earlier. How could Xiao Yan allow him to leave unharmed? The green-red ancient wings on Xiao Yan's back flapped. His body appeared to have teleported as it appeared in front of Fourth Tianzin, who was flying backwards. Xiao Yan reached out with his hand, and four clusters of flames appeared. Soon after, an extremely beautiful fire lotus was formed in his palm. It's over. A ferociousness appeared on the corner of Xiao Yan's mouth as he observed the shock that had surged onto the Fourth Tianzin's face. The Fourth Tianzin's heart became icy cold when he saw the ferociousness on Xiao Yan's face. Each of those three Du skills that Xiao Yan had unleashed possessed a strength that was at the Tian class Du skill level. The perfect combination of those three Du skills caused even him to be unable to retaliate. No wonder so many experts from the Hall of Souls have fallen to this brat's hands. While the fourth Tianzin was feeling extremely regretful of accepting this easy but extremely dangerous task, the fire lotus in Xiao Yan's hand had been propelled forward without any hesitation. It ruthlessly struck onto the fourth Tianzin's body. Bang. 
The moment it struck the fourth Tianzin, a terrifying firestorm swept over the sky like a celebratory firework in front of a countless number of eyes, the moment it struck fourth Tianzin. End of chapter. Chapter 1385. End. A terrifying firestorm whizzed across the sky. Its frightening temperature vaporized all the moisture in the air almost instantly. A dry heat rolled through the air. Some weaker individuals felt the blood in their bodies become boiling hot. Bang. A muffled sound was suddenly emitted from within the firestorm, and a figure wrapped in flames shot from the sky like a cannonball. The figure's miserable screeches reverberated by everyone's ears. Hearing this voice, that fire figure was that pompous fourth Tianzin from the Hall of Souls. At this moment, this great Tianzin was showing signs of turning into roast pork. Bang. The fourth Tianzin violently shot into the abyss filled with the blood sea in front of many pairs of eyes. A frightening temperature spread, causing the sea of blood to bubble. Finally, it rapidly shrank at the speed visible to the naked eye. The sea of blood completely disappeared within a short 10 seconds. The rushing sound of wind appeared in the sky as Xiao Yan's figure appeared above the deep abyss in a ghost-like fashion. His eyes were indifferent as he stared down. The three attacks from earlier had definitely seriously injured the fourth Tianzin. If the fourth Tianzin was unlucky, it was not impossible for him to die on the spot. One must get rid of grass from its roots. Xiao Yan's eyes flickered. He suddenly clenched his hand and a purple-brown fire pillar with a hint of white shot from his palm. It penetrated the deep abyss and ruthlessly struck onto the spot where the aura remained. Bang! The somewhat moist soil of the abyss was grilled to a rock-hard material wherever the fire pillar passed. The fire pillar caused the deep abyss turned into rock, and wave after wave of high temperatures continued to radiate from it. Grug! At the edge of the fire pillar, the fourth Tianzin, whose skin had completely disappeared from his body and was now a complete mess of blood and flesh, opened his eyes in a frail manner. He moved his finger, and a jade token appeared in his palm. He subsequently shattered it with all his strength. Chi. A spatial black tunnel immediately appeared beside the fourth Tianzin, the moment the jade token broke. A suction force surged from the tunnel and swallowed his body. Swoosh. A ray of light shot into the deep abyss the moment the fourth Tianzin disappeared. After which, the glow appeared at the spot where the fourth Tianzin had been standing earlier. The figure that appeared from the light looked at the remaining spatial distortion, involuntarily frowned, and muttered, he's really quick to escape. Xiao Yan had not expected the fourth Tianzin to endure so many blows. He was still able to hang on to a breath and live despite suffering so many powerful attacks. However, Xiao Yan was not anxious, despite having failed to kill the fourth Tianzin. Even if the fourth Tianzin were to recover from his injuries, a sequela would definitely remain. It would be difficult for the fourth Tianzin to improve any further in the future. On the other hand, as long as Xiao Yan was given some time to train, it would soon be an easy matter for him to randomly kill the fourth Tianzin the next time they met. Huh. Xiao Yan gently exhaled. His face vaguely contained a paleness. The exhaustion from continuously fighting two Hall of Souls Tianzins and displaying Tian Class Du skills numerous times was a little too much for him, even though he possessed a quasi Tian Class Key method. If he continued to squander his Du Qi, he might not be able to endure the strain. The danger of the Yan Alliance can be considered resolved. Xiao Yan flapped the green red bone wings on his back. He flew out of the deep abyss and appeared in the sky of the outside world. With a sweep of his eyes, he noticed that the experts from the Hall of Souls and the Profound Lion sect were still fighting. A cold snort sounded as he flicked his ten fingers. Ten extremely hot fire pillars shot from the tip of his fingers. They zoomed across the sky and ruthlessly smashed into some experts. Bang bang. Low and muffled sounds appeared as sharp screeches rang out. Those ordinary elite Du Zuns ended up spitting out blood and withdrawing because of Xiao Yan's random attack. The frightening heavenly flame was just like maggots in their bones as it lingered on their bodies. It was useless regardless of what Du skill they used. Hence, many experts hurriedly fled in panic with flames covering their butts. Some of the Hall of Souls experts understood that the situation was hopeless after witnessing this attack. They did not dare to remain any longer as they formed their black fog and quickly fled. Alliance Chief Xiao, please show mercy. All of us were forced into this. Some of the experts and sects that had been threatened or lured over by the Hall of Souls hurriedly cried out in panic. None of them had expected Xiao Yan to be this fierce. He had relied on his own abilities to finish off two experts with unbelievable strength. Thus, they did not dare to resist. 
Xiao Yan's eyes were indifferent as he glanced at the people who bent with the situation. However, he did not kill all of them. Although all of these people were disgraceful, they did possess some reputation within the northwestern region. Killing them all would not benefit the Yan Alliance's future developments. Of course, he also did not wish to attract spineless individuals. If they were surrendering now, they would naturally turn their backs when facing a strong enemy in the future. Xiao Yan mused for a moment before ordering in a feigned voice, if all of you wish to leave, you will need to exchange a life for your life. Take the lives of those from the Profound Lion sect in exchange for your own. The experts from the Profound Lion sect experienced a drastic change when they heard Xiao Yan's orders. On the other hand, the other factions and experts hesitated for a moment before revealing a ferocity within their eyes. They turned their heads and rushed toward the experts from the Profound Lion sect, whom they had been fighting alongside earlier. In a moment, a chaotic battle erupted in the sky. This time around, the Yan Alliance ended up an observer to the show. These people are really shameless. Xiao Ding smiled as he watched the fierce and ruthless battle that had erupted in the sky. Xiao Yan was really ruthless. The hands of these people would be dyed with the lives of those from the Profound Lion sect. Both parties would naturally become enemies, and it would be difficult for them to form an alliance in the future. Of course, the Profound Lion sect strength would greatly decline after being defeated. Moreover, the Profound Lion sect had offended many factions during this war in the northwestern part of the continent. Having lost the protection of the Hall of Souls, the fate of the Profound Lion sect would be quite miserable. In the future, the Yan Alliance would probably dominate this northwestern region alone. The chaotic battle in the sky continued for over 10 minutes. The experts from the Profound Lion sect suffered serious injuries, and some even died. Even the army that they had gathered had suffered many losses. Now that no one was commanding them, the army had begun to scatter and flee. After glancing at the sky, Xiao Yan understood that the Profound Lion sect was finished. Such a sect would no longer exist in the northwest in the future. Huh. Xiao Yan gently exhaled as he turned around and landed on the wall of the fortress. The entire fortress immediately let out an earth-shaking cheer when they saw him return. The Yan Alliance will not fall. All hail the Alliance chief. Xiao Yan smiled as he slowly landed on the wall and heard this cheer, which shook the entire fortress. You have become a lone hero again. Kai Lin glanced at Xiao Yan and spoke in a feigned voice, but the corner of her mouth had curved into an enchanting shape. Xiao Yan merely shook his head and smiled at Kai Lin with her razor tongue but soft heart. She was still the same after so many years. Ha ha, Junior Pavilion Chief really exceeds the expectations of others. You were able to finish off that Shuhi Zunji. The reputation of this old demon within the Central Plains back then was not inferior to your teacher. However, this person was renowned for his brutalness. The three Ha elders hurried over in a flash and laughed. There was an additional respect in their eyes when they looked at Xiao Yan. The strong were honored, and the strength that Xiao Yan had displayed earlier was enough to get them submit to him. Ha ha, thank you everyone. Once I return, I will definitely deliver the remaining reward. Xiao Yan laughed. It's fine. With Yao Chen's reputation, we don't even need to worry about him eating his words. The elite Du Zuns who had been invited hurriedly replied after hearing Xiao Yan's words. Xiao Yan grinned when he heard their replies. Xiao Li and Xiao Ding had already begun to dispatch the army to clear the battlefield. The entire wall was one busy scene. Father is mighty. A crisp voice that caused Xiao Yan's heart to tremble suddenly drifted over while he was quietly sighing in relief. His face involuntarily revealed a brilliant smile. He turned his head and studied little Xiao Xiao, who was waving to him from Kai Lin's embrace. A special feeling surged into his heart. He had also become a father. Father will likely be very pleased if he was aware of this. Father, rest assured that I will rescue you as soon as possible. At that time, our family will be reunited again. Xiao Yan softly sighed in his heart. He quickly stepped forward and pulled little Xiao Xiao from Kai Lin's embrace into his own. He violently kissed her smooth little face and could not help but laugh out loud when he saw her somewhat bitter expression. Hiss hiss. Little Xiao Xiao's tongue suddenly brightened while Xiao Yan was laughing. A seven-colored figure suddenly shot out. It lingered above little Xiao Xiao's shoulder and joyously extended its snake tongue toward Xiao Yan. This is seven-colored heaven-swallowing python? Xiao Yan was startled when he saw this seven-colored figure. He immediately cried out in surprise. I, this seven-colored heaven-swallowing python was not completely dominated by me. 
that soul used Xiao Xiao's body to reincarnate. As a reward, Xiao Xiao is able to use its strength. In other words, Xiao Xiao has possessed an elite Du Zong's strength the moment she was born. Kai Lin softly explained. Oh. Xiao Yan lifted his brows when he heard this. A seven-colored heaven-swallowing python was a peak existence among the snake magical beast. During ancient times, some powerful seven-colored heaven-swallowing python could challenge an ancient heaven serpent. A snake-shaped magical beast of such bloodline was something that even King Lin's triple jade green snake flower pupils could not control. Moreover, a seven-colored heaven-swallowing python at its peak was comparable to an elite Du Sheng. In other words, there was a seven-colored heaven-swallowing python's strength superimposed on Xiao Xiao's own strength. A person and a snake joining hands. That strength was really quite frightening. Although the seven-colored heaven-swallowing python possesses a limitless potential, it is still a borrowed strength. My daughter will not simply rely on other people's strength. Xiao Yan smiled as an excitement intensified in his eyes. Currently, Xiao Xiao's constitution is at its softest and most malleable. Although I cannot go overboard in an attempt to get her to grow, I will be able to provide her with the most perfect training conditions. Xiao Xiao will be perfect because she was Xiao Yan's daughter. End of chapter. Chapter 1386. Cancer. A gentleness surfaced on Kai Lin's cold face when she saw the excitement appear in Xiao Yan's eyes as he looked at Xiao Xiao. She valued Xiao Xiao, who was even more important than her own life. Xiao Yan truly treating Xiao Xiao well was the most important thing in her heart. Xiao Xiao's current condition is already very good. She was born with a good constitution because of the heaven soul blood bone pill that you had sent back. Kai Lin smiled as she explained. She involuntarily glanced at Xiao Yan again when she mentioned the pill. She had made up her mind back then. If Xiao Yan dared to forget about the medicinal pill that they had agreed or missed the date he had promised to deliver, she would have no longer contacted him in the future. Her character was stubborn, and she would never regret anything she decided on. If Xiao Yan broke his promise, she would definitely not hesitate to act. At the very most, she would lead the Snake People tribe on a journey away. Fortunately, Xiao Yan had remembered the medicine and the delivery time in his heart. He had even asked Xiao Li to deliver the medicinal pill when he had left the Black Corner region. The Heaven Soul Blood Bone pill might be good, but it is still not enough. Xiao Yan shook his head. With his current eyesight, he no longer thought highly of the Heaven Soul Blood Bone pill. This medicinal pill might still be all right when it came to building a foundation, but it was far from reaching the cornerstone he wanted to set down. Your Snake People tribe has likely never met a true alchemist grandmaster. Hence, you only possess that three grades of secret technique. The Heaven Soul Blood Bone pill is at the very most a tier 7 low grade medicinal pill. It can build one's foundation, but it is far from perfection. Xiao Yan's eyes wandered the busy scene on the wall as he laughed. I, the Heaven Soul Blood Bone pill might be good, but there are many that are even better. An example would be the mysterious Bodhisattva Foundation Building Pill. It is a peak tier 7 medicinal pill and is extremely suitable for Xiao Xiao. However, even I only have a 40% chance of successfully refining such a medicinal pill. I'm afraid that Alliance Chief will have to personally do the refinement. A person faintly made a comment by the side. Xiao Yan's eyes followed the voice and involuntarily grinned. He cupped his hands to that person as he laughed, Grandmaster Gu He, how are you? The person who had just spoken was naturally the pill king of the Jiama Empire and the current head of the Yan Alliance Medicinal Hall. At this moment, a couple of elders in alchemist robes were standing behind him. Xiao Yan didn't find them familiar. They probably joined the Yan Alliance after he left, but Xiao Yan's brows were slightly lifted when he studied the gazes of these people. Although their eyes contained a respect when they looked at him, an unknown expression was more prevalent. Alliance chief, you have disappeared for a couple of years in one go. How free and easy. Gu He cupped his hands toward Xiao Yan and faintly laughed. He felt a complicated emotion in his heart for Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan had stopped his marriage with the Misty Cloud sect back then and had caused him to lose face. Fortunately, he was able to put it behind him, which had prevented him from forming a grudge. Since he hadn't formed a grudge, he agreed to join the Yan Alliance after losing to Xiao Yan in a medicinal pill competition. Although Gu He had joined the Yan Alliance, that failure had caused Gu He to bear a grudge. He had spent these years bitterly training his medicinal refinement skills. He had already reached the level of a high-grade tier 7 alchemist. There was hardly anyone in the Northwest who could surpass him. 
with the increase in his strength, he would naturally think about competing again. However, Xiao Yan had disappeared for many years, and Gu He had no means of locating him. Now that Xiao Yan had returned, Gu He could not resist expressing the thoughts in his heart. Of course, he did not have any ill intent. It was just that he, who had always been proud of his talent, was unwilling to admit that he had been defeated by the hands of a person much younger than him. Grandmaster Gu He can be considered one of the top few alchemist grandmasters in the northwestern part of the continent. The Pill Hall has become quite strong under his management and development. Therefore, the Pill Hall has been credited for the swift development of the Yan Alliance. Those few behind him are the elders of the Pill Hall. They are all tier 6 alchemists and are the top pillars of the Pill Hall. Kai Lin by the side introduced. Her pretty eyes vaguely flickered while she spoke. Xiao Yan narrowed his eyes. He was just about to speak when Kai Lin's feigned voice suddenly appeared beside his ear, the Pill Hall is far too important to the Yan Alliance. Moreover, the Yan Alliance's swift development during these years can be completely attributed to the Pill Hall. Therefore, some of the upper echelons of the Pill Hall have become arrogant. There are even some who think that the Yan Alliance would not exist without the Pill Hall. The Pill Hall has slowly become independent. I am not an alchemist, therefore, my prestige is less than Gu He's prestige in the hearts of these people from the Pill Hall. Xiao Yan gently interlaced his fingers and faintly smiled. Too much authority, too important, could not be managed by authority, the appearance of such a situation was not really surprising. An alchemist was superior in the hearts of ordinary people to begin with. Adding the importance of the Pell Hall to the Yan Alliance, the alchemists would ultimately feel superior to the other departments. Even the leaders at the top were not treated as respectfully in their hearts compared to others. The top management of the Yan Alliance like Kai Lin, Xiao Ding, Xiao Li, etc. were not alchemists. Naturally, they were unable to get these alchemists to submit to them. Although Gu He was upright, he did not possess the ability to manage his subordinates, which ultimately bred arrogance in the pill hall. It looks like the interior of the Yan Alliance is not as united as I had imagined. Such an arrogance cannot be allowed to grow. Otherwise, it will definitely become a cancer to the Yan Alliance in the future. Xiao Yan glanced at Gu He and the few pill hall elders behind him. He immediately laughed and said, the mysterious Bodhisattva Foundation building pill is still acceptable, but it is not the best choice. I wonder if Grandmaster Gu He has heard of a medicinal pill known as First Start Pill? The words First Start Pill had just landed in their ears when Gu He and the few elders of the pill hall revealed a different expression. They exclaimed, the Tier 8 First Start Pill? The Lion's Chief can already refine a Tier 8 medicinal pill? Gu He was extremely shocked as he stared at Xiao Yan. The pill hall elders behind him were a little shaken and full of doubt as they stared at Xiao Yan. Gu He could be considered one of the top alchemists in the northwestern region by being able to refine a tier 7 high-grade medicinal pill. They had always viewed Gu He as the leader. Although these people had heard about Xiao Yan, their hearts always thought that the current Gu He was the true top alchemist in the Yan Alliance. Tier 8 medicinal pills are differentiated by the number of pill lightning colors. A first start pill should attract a five-colored pill lightning. Grandmaster Guhi, gather all the alchemists in the pill hall tomorrow. I will be publicly refining a pill. Everyone must be present. Anyone who fails to come will be immediately expelled from the Yan Alliance. When I left back then, I had given the pill hall an authority and an advantage that no other halls possessed, but the pill hall has less than five tier seven alchemists. This is inefficient. Xiao Yan spoke in a deep voice as he looked at Guhi. Gu He's heart shook when he heard Xiao Yan's voice suddenly becoming stern. He was an intelligent person. After some thoughts, he immediately understood that Xiao Yan was planning to reform the pill hall. He was aware of the bad habits that had formed in the pill hall during these years, but he had not managed them. Although Kai Lin was powerful, she did not understand pill refinement and was unable to gain much prestige in the pill hall. However, the current Xiao Yan was different. Xiao Yan's alchemist skills had already exceeded Gu He's even back then. Since Gu He was able to reach the tier 7 alchemist class, it would not be impossible for him to reach the 8 tier alchemist guru level given his speed. The few pill hall elders behind Gu He faced each other and felt anything but reassured. Even Kai Lin had never spoken to Gu He in such a way during these years. However, this alliance chief in front was planning on acting against the most important pill hall. Understood, alliance chief. In that case, I will return and gather the members of the pill hall to await Alliance Chief's arrival tomorrow. Gu He helplessly sighed, but he still gave a reply. After which, he cupped his hands together. 
Only when Xiao Yan Na did he led the few elders of the Pill Hall away. He understood that the Pill Hall would definitely turn into an uproar when this news spread. Xiao Yan's eyes slowly narrowed after watching Gu He's group grow distant. Is this suitable? Being too rude will likely cause those haughty alchemists to feel some displeasure in their hearts. Kai Lin spoke in a worried manner. She was extremely familiar with the figures from the Pill Hall. They would occasionally make things difficult for the people who were dispatched to the Pill Hall. From this, it was possible to tell the practices that had taken root within the Pill Hall. Displeasure? They are merely ordinary alchemists. You view them too well. An alchemist at such a tier would barely be able to make a living in the Central Plains. One can just hire another if the alchemist leaves. Xiao Yan spoke in a faint voice. He was building a wormhole between the Falling Star Pavilion and the Yan Alliance. He would be able to swiftly travel between the two places. If it was alchemists, he would just hire them from the Central Plains. Given the current reputation he and Yao Lao enjoyed in the alchemist world of the Central Plains, forget about those low-tier ones, tier 7 alchemist grandmasters would swarm over. Moreover, their quality would be many times better than these people who did not know what was good for them. Coincidentally, I am planning to help Xiao Xiao refine a medicinal pill. I will take out the cauldron and refine a pill in the pill hall tomorrow to act as a deterrent. It is time to manage this pill hall properly. Xiao Yan gently patted little Xiao Xiao in his embrace and deeply spoke. The current him did indeed feel quite furious in his heart. It was unexpected that the special authority he given the pill hall back then had become a cancer to the Yan alliance. Kai Lin nodded when she saw Xiao Yan's somewhat gloomy face. She had also been angered by the pill hall many times during these years. However, she had been enduring this anger for the sake of the bigger picture. Now that Xiao Yan was back, it was impossible for him to let this thing slide, especially with his method of doing things. Some elders from the Pill Hall have yet to appear. Those people are the true thorns. There are two tier 7 alchemists among them who joined later on. They are immensely arrogant. Based on some information I obtained, it seems that they once secretly sold a Pill Hall medicinal pill to an outside source. However, I have not found any evidence and can do nothing. Kai Lin softly explained. I. A faint sound was emitted from Xiao Yan's nostrils, and a cold glint flickered in his dark black eyes. End of chapter. Chapter 1387. Pill Refinement. Being the most important location for the Yan Alliance outside of the GMA Empire, there were naturally a large number of Pill Hall members located in the mysterious Yellow Fortress. Moreover, due to the war, around 80% of the Pill Hall had been relocated within the Branch Hall in the fortress. Quite a large commotion had occurred when Gu He had relayed the words Xiao Yan had said back to the Pill Hall. Things had been too smooth for the Pill Hall during these years. Adding the importance of the alchemists, their arrogant auras had become even richer. Normally, even Kai Lin did not speak to them this sternly. Although Xiao Yan was the chief of the Yan Alliance, he had been missing for far too long. Some of the alchemists who subsequently joined the Yan Alliance had only heard of his existence from the mouths of others. Hence, their respect for him was naturally far inferior to those from the other halls of the Yan Alliance. The branch hall of the Pill Hall for the mysterious Yellow Fortress was situated to the northwest. There was an enormous region located at that spot. It belonged to the territory of the Pill Hall. This kind of treatment could be considered the best among all the halls of the Yan Alliance. At this moment, a large room within this branch hall had descended into an quarrel. Humph, our chief of the Yan Alliance is really imposing. He has only just returned, but he already wishes to intervene in the matters of our Pill Hall. If not for our Pill Hall during these years, would the Yan Alliance have the achievements it does today? A grey-robed elder in the large room coldly snorted with disdain. There was an alchemist badge on his chest. Seven golden ripples appeared on it. This person was also a tier 7 alchemist. Grandmaster Liu Chang is right. This grey-clothed elder clearly possessed a great reputation within the Pill Hall. Hence, some alchemists immediately voiced their agreement after he spoke. Gu He was seated in the leader's chair in the large room. He was frowning, but he did not say anything. His pill refinement talent was quite great, but his management skills were a little lacking. There was also a white-haired old man seated beside Gu He. He was the chairman of the Alchemist Association back then, Fa Ma. At this moment, he did not join any argument in the large room. He merely shut his eyes and acted like he was not hearing anything. Hall Chief Gu, you should speak to the Alliance Chief regarding this matter. The Pill Hall cannot be compared to the other halls. Even the Deputy Alliance Chief has not intervened in the matters of our Pill Hall during these years. 
in return, we allowed the Pill Hall to become the supporting pillar of the Yan Alliance. We are indeed grateful that the Alliance Chief has turned things around this time, but if he really wishes to intervene in the matters of our Pill Hall, chaos will stir. An old man with a pale face and hair that reached his shoulders was sitting on a chair by the side. He also slowly opened his mouth and spoke. Gu He frowned when he heard these words. He glanced at Fa Ma by the side, but Fa Ma ignored him and kept his eyes shut. At that moment, Gu He could only say, the Alliance Chief is also an alchemist. Moreover, his alchemist skills far surpass mine. He is not some layman. Chief Gu, you cannot put it like this. The Alliance Chief has been away most of the time. The current pill hall is completely different from before. Is the Alliance Chief more aware than us of the various issues we face? That old man called Liu Chang indifferently responded. He smiled when he reached the end before continuing, moreover, refining a tier 8 medicinal pill is not something that one can simply speak of. Everyone should be clearly aware of this. The Alliance Chief might indeed be strong, but it does not mean that he will be able to refine a tier 8 medicinal pill. The few of us are all tier 7 high-grade alchemists. Naturally, we understand the difficulty of advancing to a tier 8 alchemist guru. The Alliance Chief is still so young. The chances of him breaking through are likely not high. Whether the Alliance Chief can refine a tier 8 medicinal pill is not something that you should concern yourself about. In any case, everyone should just arrive on time tomorrow. Please do not do anything wrong. As long as you are not guilty in your heart, the Alliance Chief will not do anything. All right, all of you should leave. Gu He frowned and immediately replied in a somewhat impatient voice. Liu Chang and the other elder frowned when they heard Gu He speak. However, they could not say anything more. Gu He's prestige was greater than the two of them combined. They immediately cupped their hands, turned around, and led their people away. The large room became empty in an instant when these people left. Gu He waved his hand and dismissed the rest. After which, he turned his head and looked at Fa Ma. He bitterly smiled and said, Old brother Fa Ma, how do you view this matter? You should be aware of the changes in the atmosphere of the Pill Hall during these years. You are not very good at managing things. This has resulted in Liu Chang and friend becoming stronger in the Pill Hall. Fa Ma opened his eyes at this moment. He picked up his teacup and continued in a feigned voice, the old me advises you to not get involved in this. You should be aware of the tactics of the alliance chief. He will not be soft when it is time to be vicious. Although the pill hall is important, it cannot pressure the alliance chief. It is not out of the realm of possibility to disband it. Additionally, with the alliance chief's current strength and eyesight, he might not really think highly of the current pill hall. Guhi's heart turned slightly cold. He was aware that Fa Ma was old and extremely experienced. He had showed signs of retiring ever since Liu Chang's duo became stronger and started to manage things. Normally, he did not bother with anything. However, no one in the Pill Hall dared to underestimate his ability. After all, the Pill Hall was mostly formed from members of the Alchemist Association. They still respected Fa Ma. The older generation Pill Hall members were all on Fa Ma's side. This time around, the Pill Hall is destined to undergo a drastic change. Given Alliance Chief's character, he will not just sit back and allow such a cancer to develop. Fortunately, even though you are not good at managing, you did not get involved in certain matters. Otherwise, I'm afraid that you would have difficulty escaping responsibility. Fa Ma slowly spoke. Now, let's just wait quietly. These people will be unlucky tomorrow. Gu He could only bitterly smile and nod his head when he heard Fa Ma's words. The pill hall quickly became lively when the first ray of morning sun landed on the mysterious yellow fortress. Many alchemists, who had received the order, woke up early and hurried to the pill refinement grounds of the pill hall. Some of the upper echelons of the pill hall like Gu He and Fa Ma were already waiting there. Gu He frowned when he looked at the hundred-plus alchemists in the square. He did not see Liu Chang or Wu Zhen among them. Those two old fellows are really reckless. Gu He's expression was a little cold when he didn't find them. Those two old fellows are too used to bossing people around. No one dared to punish them given their tier 7 alchemist rank. Guhi's heart suddenly shook while he was quietly cursing. He lifted his head, only to see a couple of figures walking through the sky. They appeared in the air above the square in front of numerous gazes. The one leading them was Xiao Yan. Greetings Alliance Chief. Guhi's group hurriedly greeted when they saw Xiao Yan appear. The other alchemists quickly followed. Xiao Yan's eyes slowly swept over the area below. He slightly nodded. Compared to back then, the current pill hall was much larger. 
no wonder these troublesome matters had occurred. Xiaoyan's body flashed, and he appeared on a towering stone stage on the square made for pill refinement. He faintly said, today, I will take out my cauldron and refine a tier 8 medicinal pill. Everyone should observe the process. This will benefit you in the future. The hearts of many people involuntarily shook when they heard these words. Although they had heard the news, they still could not resist being shaken when they heard that Xiao Yan was planning on refining a tier 8 medicinal pill. Across the entire northwestern part of the continent, those who could refine a medicinal pill of such a tier were extremely rare existences. Xiao Yan sat on the stone stage after his words sounded. He waved his hand, and a medicinal cauldron appeared in the sky. He rubbed his palms and many medicinal ingredients that were filled with powerful energies floated around his body. Ha ha, I have arrived a little later and nearly missed the Alliance Chief refining pills. A laugh was suddenly emitted while Xiao Yan was preparing to act. Two elder figures led around around a dozen plus figures over from outside of the square. A gray-robed elder cupped his hands to Xiao Yan on the stage and laughed. Xiao Yan's eyes glanced at this group. After which, they slowly swept over them. A moment later, he laughed. Since you are here, please take a seat. The corner of Liu Chang and Wu Zhen's eyes twitched when they heard Xiao Yan's calm and emotionless voice. Only then did they sense that this extremely young alliance chief was not as easy to deal with as they had imagined. The both of them looked at each other and vaguely felt an uneasiness. However, this was quickly suppressed by the two of them. They were genuine tier 7 alchemists and could be ranked among the top within the northwestern region. Even a faction like the Yan Alliance would feel a great pain should it lose them. Xiao Yan glanced at this group before withdrawing his eyes. He flicked his finger, and a purple-brown flame whizzed into the medicinal cauldron. After which, he waved his sleeve. The hundreds of medicinal ingredients around him continuously charged into the medicinal cauldron with some whistling noises. After which, they were refined by the flame within a short instant. This entire refinement process was extremely smooth and did not even pause once. The vast and mighty spiritual strength slowly spread from Xiao Yan after the many medicinal ingredients charged into the flame. All the alchemists who sensed this spiritual pressure revealed grave faces. A rich respect and fear gradually appeared in their eyes. Liu Chang and Wu Zhen had also sensed it. Their bodies involuntarily quivered. A shock that could not be hidden was present in their eyes. This kind of spiritual pressure was something that only a tier 8 alchemist possessed. In other words, Xiao Yan had truly reached the tier 8 alchemist level. What a frightening spiritual pressure. Gu He let out a long sigh as he muttered. Fa Ma by the side also smiled as his eyes glanced at the stunned duo. A cold smile appeared on his face. The days when these two old fellows could act arrogant in the pill hall had come to an end. End of chapter. Chapter 1388. Severely punished. A great heat radiated from the dark red medicinal cauldron, causing the temperature grow hot and the air to become dry. Refining a tier 8 medicinal pill was extremely complicated. Nearly a hundred different types of medicinal ingredients were involved. An ordinary alchemist could forget about the refinement process. They would have their hands full just controlling these medicinal ingredients in the air. Of course, this did not pose the slightest problem for Xiao Yan's mighty ocean-like spiritual strength. Numerous high-grade medicinal ingredients that most alchemists present had never even heard of were thrown into the medicinal cauldron. The flame within the cauldron only needed to randomly sweep over before the pure medicinal strength in the medicinal ingredient was perfectly refined. Finally, the pure energies would remain suspended in the medicinal cauldron. They were packed together while emitting a shockingly pure energy. The first start pill was a medicinal pill that could attract a five-colored pill lightning. A medicinal pill of this grade did not pose much of a problem for the current Xiao Yan. After years of training, Xiao Yan's spiritual strength was much greater than what it had been at the pill gathering. Hence, this first start pill might be extremely troublesome to refine, but the refinement proceeded smoothly for Xiao Yan. The refinement of medicinal pills, especially a tier 8 medicinal pill, was a time-consuming task. Even with the aid of a heavenly flame, half a day had passed by the time Xiao Yan had fully refined all the medicinal ingredients. The alchemists in the square were completely immersed by Xiao Yan's smooth pill refinement process. None of them had realized so much time had passed. At the same time, the respect in their eyes was becoming richer. Xiao Yan's techniques were really too mysterious to them. None of the alchemist grandmasters they had met before could reach Xiao Yan's ability. Three days quietly passed amid this quiet atmosphere. The number of alchemists whom Xiao Yan had attracted increased. 
Some of the alchemists who were not from the pill hall but were temporarily staying in the mysterious yellow fortress also hurried over after hearing about the refinement, causing the area around the pill hall to fill with people. There were even many people standing in the sky. With the increasing commotion, some experts who were not alchemists also hurried over. Due to the matter of the profound lion sect, quite a number of factions and experts had sought refuge with the Yan Alliance. Some of these people had left after the profound lion sect was defeated, while many had remained. Currently, all of them had been attracted by the pill refinement. As the number of observers continued to increase, Kai Lin had no choice but to dispatch the experts from the Yan Alliance to maintain order and prevent any disturbances from interfering with Xiao Yan's pill refinement. Another three days passed as a countless number of people observed this process. Bang! On the eighth day after Xiao Yan became immersed in his pill refinement, thunder suddenly rumbled across the clear sky. Some of the experts with sharp senses discovered that the energy around them had become violent. While a disturbance had occurred because of these changes, thick dark clouds suddenly began to appear in the sky without warning. Numerous silver snake-like bolts of lightning vaguely shuttled through the clouds. A commotion appeared in the mysterious yellow fortress when everyone saw thunder clouds suddenly cover the clear sky. The expressions of many experts drastically changed. They could sense the terrifying energy contained within these thunder clouds. If the energy poured down, it would likely destroy half of the mysterious yellow fortress. While the mysterious yellow fortress had turned into an uproar, Xiao Yan, who had been seated on the stone stage, slowly opened his eyes. The thunder clouds seemed to have been sparked by something as they churned and became more brilliant. Within a short two minutes, the dark black thunder clouds had turned into brilliant five-colored thunder clouds in front of the many startled eyes. Is this the legendary pill lightning? A devotion and excitement surfaced on the faces of all the alchemists present as they studied the five-colored thunder cloud in the sky. This kind of pill lightning was something that many alchemists were unable to summon even after spending their entire life attempting to do so. It is really a five-colored pill lightning. Gu He and Fa Ma studied the sky, and Gu He softly sighed. His heart felt somewhat defeated as he stared at the skinny figure. No wonder Yun Yun ultimately loved him. This talent was something that Gu He had to admit that he did not have. Bang! An intense thunder suddenly reverberated while the thunder clouds churned in the sky. The cloud layer suddenly broke apart as a thousand-foot-long five-colored pill lightning suddenly blasted down toward Xiao Yan below in front of many shocked pairs of eyes. Upon sensing the frightening energy contained within the five-colored pill lightning, even the expressions of Kai Lin's group involuntarily changed. Xiao Yan slowly lifted his head and glanced at the five-colored pill lightning as it tore through the sky and rushed over like an enormous dragon. With a flick of his finger, a dark golden body appeared. The dark golden body ruthlessly collided with the pill lightning. Chi. The two collided and that incomparably ferocious pill lightning disappeared in an instant, causing many people to reveal stunned faces. Their eyes carefully glanced over, and they discovered an expressionless hollow-eyed puppet. It was Xiao Yan's sky demon puppet. Rumble. The thunder clouds in the sky seemed to have been angered after the sky demon puppet devoured the pill lightning. Numerous five-colored lightning pillars came pouring down in a crazy fashion. However, none of them broke through the sky demon puppet's defense. These uncontrollable thunderbolts continued for nearly 10 minutes before the clouds gradually paled. The frightening thunder clouds slowly disappeared in front of many frightened eyes. A tier 8 medicinal pills pill lightning is indeed frightening. Such a strength is something that even some elite duzuns cannot endure. Many people present quietly clicked their tongues after watching the pill lightning slowly disappear. A medicinal pill of such a tier really could not be refined by an ordinary person. Xiao Yan beckoned with his hand after seeing the pill lightning disappear. He returned the sky demon puppet to his storage ring. With a flick of his finger, the cauldron cover was pulled open. A rainbow color explosively shot away with lightning-like speed. It was just about to flee into the distance when Xiao Yan reached out with his hand. An invisible wind firmly restrained the pill before it was eventually sucked to his palm. It was subsequently stuffed into a jade bottle that was then thrown into his storage ring. Alliance Chief is mighty. A deafening cheer immediately resounded when everyone saw Xiao Yan successfully refine the pill. Many alchemists' faces were red as their eyes stared at Xiao Yan with a fiery heat. This was the first time that they had ever seen an alchemist of this tier and a pill lightning of this level. Xiao Yan smiled when he heard these overwhelming cheers. He smiled and gently pressed his hands down. His eyes slowly swept over the faces of all the alchemists present. 
Finally, they paused on Liu Chang and Wu Jin's faces. At this moment, their expressions were a little unnatural, and they did not dare to meet Xiao Yan's eyes. This pill refinement is only one of the reasons I have come to the pill hall this time around. The entire place became completely silent when everyone heard Xiao Yan's feigned voice. Some people began to feel uneasy. They seemed to predict what was going to happen. The pill hall is one department of the Yan Alliance. Its status is no different than the other halls, but some people have begun to gain an arrogance during these years. They ignore the Yan Alliance and act selfishly, resulting in an internal disharmony. This is a great offense. Xiao Yan's expression slowly became cold. His chilling cry echoed next to everyone's ears. I have a list of names here. Everyone on it has a charge against them. Xiao Yan clenched his hand, and a scroll appeared in it. He subsequently tossed it to Kai Lin and commanded in a deep voice, read. Many people trembled when they heard Xiao Yan's deep voice. A chill appeared in their hearts. Kai Lin received the scroll. Her pretty eyes coldly swept over everyone present. The names recorded on it were those who were the most arrogant. Some had even caused a lot of trouble, but these troubles were eventually swept away. In the past, she had worried about the pill hall, so she could only tolerate these grievances. However, with Xiao Yan's return, such worry had completely disappeared. Pill Hall First Department, Ha Zhu, ignores orders and acts arrogantly. He once delayed the delivery of medicinal pills due to some personal matters, resulting in the deaths of hundreds of Yan Alliance brothers. Pill Hall Second Department, He Yuan Ming, secretly pocketed the medicinal ingredients of the Yan Alliance. Not only did he not plead guilty after being exposed, he even injured the person who had exposed him. Pill Hall First Department. The faces of some of the alchemists within the pill hall suddenly turned pale when they heard the many names that were spoken from Kai Lin's mouth. Pill hall elders, Liu Chang and Wu Zhen, becoming arrogant because of their contributions, not obeying orders, and withdrawing from battle. They have secretly sold Yan Alliance medicinal pills and pocketed the profits. The square turned into an uproar when Kai Lin's final cold cry sounded. Liu Chang and Wu Zhen's expressions paled. It was unexpected that Xiao Yan would dare to act against them. A country has its laws, and an alliance has its own rules. Those that have been mentioned will be dealt with according to the alliance rules. No one will be spared. Xiao Yan spoke in a feigned voice. Alliance chief. Liu Chang and Wu Zhen suddenly stood up and furiously cried out, the both of us are tier 7 high-grade alchemists. Both of us have helped develop the pill hall to its current state. Are you planning to get rid of us now that it has become successful? Your merit does not make up for your mistakes. The Yan Alliance is not a loose organization. No one can break its rules. Xiao Yan coldly cried out. There would be no standards without rules. If the pill hall were allowed to continue along this path, internal discord would soon form within the Yan Alliance. Hence, Xiao Yan would not show mercy if he really needed to be ruthless. Bastard. Who cares about this pill hall elder position? This elderly self will quit. Liu Chang and Wu Zhen's faces alternated between green and white. A moment later, they coldly laughed. With a wave of their sleeves, they cried out loud, will anyone leave with the two of us? Upon hearing this cry, the alchemists in the square glanced at each other. Finally, some of their close confidants and some of the names that had been read, who knew that they would be down on their luck if they stayed, hurriedly walked forward and followed Liu Chang's group. Liu Chang and Wu Zhen involuntarily smiled in a pleased manner when they saw these people. They looked at Xiao Yan and said, Alliance Chief, if this place does not allow us to stay, there will be another that will. Goodbye. A smile suddenly appeared on Xiao Yan's face as he stared at the duo, who had coldly smiled and turned around. He slowly asked, Kai Lin, what kind of punishment awaits those who privately betray the Alliance and leave? An icy cold arc lifted on the corner of Kai Lin's lips when she heard this. She replied in a feigned voice, Death without mercy. Liu Chang's group, who had just turned around and left, suddenly stilled when they heard Kai Lin's words. End of chapter. Chapter 1389. Resolve. Liu Chang's group's footsteps immediately stilled when they heard Kai Lin's icy cold voice. A moment later, Liu Chang and Wu Zhen suddenly turned their heads. They furiously demanded, why? Does the Yan Alliance intend to kill all of us in front of so many people? Xiao Yan placed his hands behind his back. His eyes indifferently studied Liu Chang's group. Many of them were displaying their panic. A feigned voice resounded beside everyone's ears, the Yan Alliance has its own rules. This is not some loose organization. It is all right if someone wishes to withdraw from the Yan Alliance. 
However, if one wishes to withdraw as an excuse to escape punishment after committing a crime, would one not be treating the Yam Alliance like child's play? During these years, the two of you have been overly arrogant, causing trouble for my pill hall and resulting in the disunity of the Yam Alliance. This is a great crime. If it can be resolved by just quitting, would it not mean that anyone who broke the rules of my Yam Alliance could just leave peacefully by quitting the Yam Alliance? In that case, is it even necessary for my Yam Alliance to exist? Xiao Yan's expression was ice cold. The murderous desire in his heart became even denser. These two were like termites. If they were allowed to safely leave, all of Yan Alliance's rules would become a joke. Once this precedent was set, how would he be able to control the masses? Those alchemists from the pill hall lowered their heads when they heard Xiao Yan's cold and stern cry. They had indeed become arrogant during these years because of their unique status within the Yan Alliance. Perspiration rained down from them while Xiao Yan reprimanded them in a cold fashion. Liu Chang and Wu Zhen's faces twitched. Their hearts panicked a little when they sensed the icy cold looks that the surrounding members of the Yan Alliance were giving them. The development of this situation had exceeded their expectations. Originally, with their Tier 7 high-grade alchemist status, they would be treated like VIPs, no matter where they went. It was unexpected that Xiao Yan would actually be this rude. What do you plan on doing? Liu Chang grit his teeth and asked. It is not what I plan to do. I will perform as the Alliance rules state. Xiao Yan faintly replied. The expressions of Liu Chang and Wu Zhen drastically changed when they heard this. According to the rules of the Yan Alliance, their offenses would require them to die a couple of times to make up for their crimes. Capture them. Kai Lin's face was cold as she gave an order. Understood. The surrounding experts of the Yan Alliance, who were awaiting orders, immediately rushed toward Liu Chang's group upon hearing Kai Lin's cry. Bastard, do you think that the two of us are afraid of you? Liu Chang and Wu Zhen really began to panic when they saw the experts move. A furious cry sounded as Du Qi surged from their bodies. They forcefully pushed aside the few Yan Alliance experts who had arrived beside them. Their bodies moved, and they turned into light figures that tried to flee into the distance. Trying to flee? Xiao Yan lifted his eyebrows. His mouth revealed a cold smile as his palm grabbed toward the two. The surrounding space instantly stilled, and the two figures were trapped within. Xiao Yan randomly threw these two captured individuals back, and they violently smashed into the ground. Grug. A powerful strength caused the duo to spit out a mouthful of fresh blood. Their expressions were ghastly. Before they could cry out numerous long spears with cold glints paused near their heads. Alliance Chief Sir, please let the both of us off. We will definitely do our best for the Yan Alliance in the future. The Du Qi within their bodies had forcefully been scattered by Xiao Yan's palm earlier. Only at this moment did Liu Chang and Wu Zhen become terrified. They hurriedly cried out together. The rules of the Yan Alliance will not be changed because of anyone or any events. Xiao Yan glanced indifferently at these two individuals. He waved his sleeve, and a group of Yan Alliance experts captured the two of them like wolves and tigers. They were dragged into the deepest part of the pill hall. Those traitors who had planned to follow the two of them were all captured and dragged away. In an instant, desolate screeches reverberated over the square. Those miserable cries gradually became distant, and the square became quiet. Those alchemists present were covered in a cold sweat. None of them dared to utter a word. Guhi. Gu He's heart trembled when he heard Xiao Yan's sudden voice. He immediately and respectfully responded. Being the chief of the pill hall, you have a responsibility that you cannot shirk for allowing the pill hall to turn into the state. From today on, you will be demoted from the hall chief to a deputy hall chief. Grandmaster Fa Ma will be promoted from the position of elder to the new pill hall's chief. Gu He and Fa Ma quickly acknowledged the changes when they heard Xiao Yan's feigned voice. The current Xiao Yan was no longer the Xiao Yan from back then. The current Xiao Yan possessed an absolute strength to deal with anyone. Since there are punishments, there will naturally be rewards. The Yan Alliance has developed greatly during these years. This is an ancient method to train one's soul. It will be able to help an alchemist break through to the 8th tier. All the alchemists of the Pill Hall who have reached the 7th tier will be able to obtain it after making a certain amount of contributions. Those of a lower tier will be able to obtain a portion of it to train their spirits after making a certain amount of contributions to the Yan Alliance. It will enable all of you to increase the rate at which your alchemist tier improves. I hope that everyone will practice hard. Xiao Yan flicked his finger after his words sounded. A scroll flew toward the stunned Fa Ma and Guhi. This? An ancient method to train one's soul? 
there were many alchemists present. Moreover, there were some alchemists who did not belong to the Yan Alliance. However, all of their faces revealed a disbelief when they heard Xiao Yan's words. They were clearly aware of just how important one's spiritual strength was to an alchemist, but none of them had ever heard that it was possible to train one's spirit. At the same time, they were aware that Xiao Yan would not make a false claim in public given his status, so all of their eyes became fiery hot. It is unexpected that there is such a benefit for joining the pill hall. It seems that I must find an opportunity to join it. Those alchemists present stared at Gu Hian Fa Ma with envious eyes as this thought appeared in their hearts. The Yan Alliance might have extremely strict rules, but they could be endured if they were able to strengthen themselves. Moreover, Liu Chang's group from earlier had completely brought it on themselves. With those crimes, any other factions or sects would have long since executed them. They would not even be given the time to argue. Fa Ma and Gu He's trembling hands held the scroll in front of many fiery hot eyes. They had heard that it was indeed possible to train one's spirit, but that method had long been lost. It was unexpected that Xiao Yan actually possessed such a method. Moreover, he was willing to give it to the both of them. The hearts of those two were incredibly excited, but they did not know that this was only a portion of the method, yet this portion benefited their current states. If they performed extensive contributions in the future, Xiao Yan would naturally give the rest of the method to them. Kyle Lin quietly sighed in relief when she saw the square suddenly become unusually excited. She was worried that harshly punishing Liu Chang's group would result in people being afraid of the Yan Alliance. It was unexpected that Xiao Yan understood the theory of the carrot and the stick. By acting ruthless and subsequently relaxing, he had managed to subdue all of these prideful fellows. Even someone like Gu He was displaying a face that showed his heartfelt gratitude, this person has matured even more compared to back then. Kai Lin turned her head, glanced at the sight of Xiao Yan's face, and softly muttered in her heart. Kai Lin clearly understood in her heart that the pill hall would definitely change for the better after this incident today. With this deterrence, such incidents would probably not happen again in the future. Without the pill hall as an evolving cancer, the Yan Alliance would continue to develop and would truly dominate the northwestern region of the continent. Xiao Yan rested for two days in the mysterious Yellow Fortress after resolving the issues regarding the pill hall. He was a little tired after refining a tier 8 medicinal pill. Is this first start pill really suitable for Xiao Xiao? Within a room where a hidden fragrance lingered, Kai Lin watched Xiao Yan take out the tier 8 medicinal pill he had refined a couple of days earlier. She asked him a question in a worried manner. The medicinal strength of a tier 8 medicinal pill was quite high. Xiao Xiao's constitution might already be very strong, but Kai Lin was still a little worried. Relax, the first start pill might be considered a tier 8 medicinal pill, but its medicinal effects are extremely gentle. It is most suitable for the current Xiao Xiao. The medicinal strength within it will continue to remain inside Xiao Xiao's body and will improve her constitution as she grows, causing her to become perfect. Xiao Yan smiled and replied. One might not become perfect after consuming the first start pill by itself, but Xiao Xiao already possessed an extremely good foundation, so all he would be doing was stabilizing this foundation. Kai Lin could only nod her head when she heard Xiao Yan's response. She simply watched as Xiao Yan gently placed the medicinal pill into the little mouth of the curious Xiao Xiao, whose dark black eyes were wandering around the room. The medicinal pill turned into a cluster of gentle light that seeped into Xiao Xiao's body after she consumed it. After which, it slowly stopped in her lower abdomen. Light was slowly emitted as Xiao Xiao sneezed. Both of her eyes were shut since she had become somewhat tired. This is the initial scattering of the medicinal strength. All we need to do is wait for her to wake. Xiao Yan smiled as he explained. Kai Lin gently nodded after hearing this explanation. She bowed her delicate body and gently rubbed her hand over Xiao Xiao's body. Her bewitching face revealed a charm that was filled with a motherly love. Xiao Yan was a little absent-minded as he watched her. He softly said, Big Brother has asked us to hold a simple Xiao clan wedding to marry you into the Xiao clan. What do you say? Kai Lin's body trembled when she heard Xiao Yan's words. Xiao Yan slowly walked forward when he saw Kai Lin's somewhat stiff yet lovely body. Her normally cold expression was being replaced by an extremely rare bright red color. At a glance, she appeared even more bewitching. Xiao Yan's heart became slightly heated when he saw her enchanting reaction. His arm hugged that narrow and seemingly boneless waist. A slight smile appeared as he gently kissed Kai Lin with her slightly emotional eyes. Lust quietly filled the warm room. End of chapter.
Chapter 1390. Before Departure. After resolving the war with the Profound Lion sect and the trouble within the Pill Hall, Xiao Yan relaxed during the period of time that followed. The Yan alliance might be huge, but it had done well under the management of Kai Lin, Xiao Ding, and the others. They would naturally arrange everything after the big battle. There was no need for Xiao Yan to intervene. Thus, Xiao Yan was happy to have some time for leisure. He left little Xiao Xiao alone and properly enjoyed the feeling of being a father. During this period of time, Xiao Yan also used some of his free time to open the wormhole scroll that Yao Lao had given him. The mysterious Yellow Fortress was not far from the Jiama Empire, and this place was an extremely important location. Hence, the wormhole that led to the Falling Star Pavilion was connected to the mysterious Yellow Fortress. Regardless of which side faced trouble in the future, one party would be able to reinforce the other with great speed. The establishment of the wormhole would undoubtedly allow the Yan Alliance's hidden strength to soar. With the Falling Star Pavilion supporting it, a second faction would not be able to compete with the Yan Alliance in this northwestern region. Dominating the northwestern part of the continent was only a matter of time. During this period of time, Xiao Yan also obtained some of the information regarding the development of the Yan Alliance. The thing that caused Xiao Yan to be surprised was that Xiao's gate, the faction his second brother, Xiao Li, had established in the Black Corner region, had also joined the Yan Alliance a couple of years ago. It was also a location that the Yan Alliance could expand to in the future. With the support of the Yan Alliance and Pan's Gate, which Xiao Yan had founded in the Inner Academy, the development of Xiao's Gate was also quite impressive. It had vaguely become a great existence within the Black Corner region. Once the time was ripe in the future, the many factions that were owned by Xiao Yan, like the Yan Alliance, Xiao's Gate, and the Falling Star Pavilion, would completely merge. It would become a powerful faction that spread over three large regions of the Duki continent. Its potential was indeed limitless. The three Xiao brothers had gathered within a quiet courtyard deep within the Yan Alliance. Kai Lin was playing with Xiao Xiao a short distance away. The crisp laughter of the little girl unceasingly appeared within the courtyard, filling it with liveliness. It had been many years since Xiao Yan had enjoyed such a peaceful time. Xiao Yan involuntarily smiled when he saw the enchanting expression that surfaced on Kai Lin's cold face while she played with Xiao Xiao. As long as she was in front of Xiao Xiao, the deputy chief of the Yan Alliance, who appeared icy cold in the eyes of others, seemed to undergo a transformation into a great beauty filled with a mother's love. Her warmth caused the heart of anyone looking at her to quiver. During this period of time, Xiao Yan and Kai Lin had also held a simple Xiao clan wedding, conducted by Xiao Li and Xiao Ding. This wedding was not grand, since only Xiao Ding and Xiao Li attended it. No great fanfare was held either, but it was said that an elder brother was like one's father. It could be considered a serious ceremony with Xiao Ding and Xiao Li present. Regardless of what the case was, the things that Kai Lin had done for the Xiao clan and the Yan alliance were enough to make Xiao Yan feel guilty. He need to give her the status. Xiao Ding and Xiao Li heard of Xiao Yan's the various experiences over these years as they sat within the courtyard. They were involuntarily shaken by the many narrow misses. Their lives during these years had not been relaxing because of the Yan Alliance, but Xiao Yan had frequently charged through danger, and things had been quite difficult for him during these years. The both of them softly sighed when they thought about this. They studied the sight of the mature and firm face of the young man in front of them. The burdens of the entire Xiao clan weighed down on him. Anyone else would already have collapsed from the pressure, but Xiao Yan had done his best to become stronger for the Xiao clan and to rescue their father. Third brother, it has been tough on you these years. Xiao Yan was startled when he heard his big brother Xiao Ding's abrupt words. He softly replied, what is this little hardship if it will allow our family to reunite? Big brother and second brother are even willing to sacrifice their lives for me. I would be too inhumane if I did not work hard to improve. The three brothers exchanged glances after hearing Xiao Yan's words. They smiled with a common understanding. There was no need to say anything else to someone with a blood relation, which was closer than anything. Kai Lin some distance away, revealed a faint grin on her face when she saw the three smiling brothers. This feeling of having a family caused her heart to feel extremely comfortable. The effort she had put in these years was worthwhile. It is unexpected that our Xiao clan possesses such a history. Surprise surfaced on Xiao Ding and Xiao Li's faces when they heard Xiao Yan describe the matters related to the Xiao clan in detail within the courtyard. They had not expected their Xiao clan, who only had a small reputation in Wutan City, 
to actually be from that Xiao clan. The Xiao clan from the eight ancient clans renowned throughout the Duqi continent. However, our Xiao clan's bloodline strength has been exhausted. The final amount of it has been passed to me by ancestor Xiao Xuan. Xiao Yan softly sighed. His body shrank in the spacious chair as he said. The reason that the Xiao clan has attracted the probing of a large faction like the Hall of Souls is precisely because this Xiao family was once that Xiao clan. However, you said that the bloodline strength of the Xiao clan has been exhausted. Why would the Hall of Souls attack us? Based on the information that I have obtained, it seems that the Hall of Souls plans to capture everyone with the blood of our Xiao clan? Xiao Ding knit his brows and voiced his thoughts. Xiao Yan's finger gently tapped on the armrest of the chair. There was some doubt between his brows. Just what were those people from the Hall of Souls planning to do? The bodies of the current members of the Xiao clan no longer possessed even the least bit of bloodline strength. What was the point of capturing them? Could it be that they were planning to use these people as hostage to get him to hand over the Tushi ancient god Jade? However, just his father as hostage was enough. Capturing the others was unnecessary. I wonder what those people from the Hall of Souls are up to. Xiao Yan shook his head, but his heart became a little more cautious. The Hall of Souls usually did not do anything that was meaningless. Since they were interested in the Xiao clan, they definitely had a motive. Relax, the current Xiao clan is gradually developing. Its members have been scattered by us in the Yan Alliance. It is impossible for the Hall of Souls to capture all of them. Once our faction becomes strong in the future, we will gather all the scattered clan members again. Xiao Ding faintly smiled and explained when he saw Xiao Yan frowning. Xiao Yan gently nodded. Big Brother really had a way of doing things. After having experienced those matters from back then, he would naturally not let them easily occur again. Second Brother, this is a secret technique scroll. You can practice it as it instructs. You can also pass it to some outstanding clan members. Xiao Yan mused for a moment before taking out the Skyfire 3 mysterious change and handing it to Xiao Li. The Skyfire 3 mysterious change had been created by ancestor Xiao Xuan. It used a special method to allow the clan members to practice and create a clan tattoo. Although his clan members no longer possessed any bloodline strength and were unable to unleash the full strength of the clan tattoo, it was still able to significantly increase one's strength. The flames that were required to practice the Skyfire 3 mysterious change did not necessarily need to be heavenly flames. They only needed to find some beast flames that were a little inferior. Xiao Li accepted the scroll that Xiao Yan handed him. He was aware that Xiao Yan did not possess any subpar things. Since Xiao Yan had said that it was useful, Xiao Li would naturally not doubt him. The situation of the Yan alliance has been settled. I will not intervene in the remaining matters. Therefore, I will be hurrying back to the Central Plains in two days. Xiao Yan voiced his thoughts after seeing Xiao Li accept the scroll. So soon? Xiao Ding and Xiao Li spoke somewhat unwillingly when they heard his words. Ha ha, the wormhole between the Yan Alliance and the Falling Star Pavilion has been built. One will not need to take too much time to travel between those two places. The both of you can head over and take a look if you have the time. I will inform the Falling Star Pavilion. Xiao Yan smiled as he spoke to them. After counting the days, the so-called spatial trade fair was about to begin. He needed to hurry back as soon as possible. The purifying demonic lotus flame was far too important to him. If he were able to obtain it, he might be able to break through the Du Zun class. Only when one truly reached the Du Sheng class would one have the qualification to fight with a faction like the Hall of Souls. Otherwise, Xiao Yan would not dare to head over and rescue his father. You are leaving the day after tomorrow? Kai Lin had also heard these words. She pulled Xiao Xiao over and asked. I, this time around, you should also return with me to the Falling Star Pavilion to meet teacher. Xiao Yan softly laughed. He regarded Yao Lao like a father. Now that Kai Lin was his wife, she would naturally have to meet him. That old. Mister from back then? Kai Lin rolled her eyes as she inquired. If she had not been afraid of Xiao Yan's teacher, she, as the queen of the snake people tribe, would have killed Xiao Yan many times over. Xiao Yan nodded. He squatted down, patted Xiao Xiao's head, and softly said, additionally, we will bring Xiao Xiao to the Falling Star Pavilion. It is the safest place I know of. Moreover, teacher can instruct her. The current her can already begin training. An unwillingness flashed across Kai Lin's eyes when she heard Xiao Yan's words, but she still nodded in agreement. She was aware that Xiao Yan was doing this for Xiao Xiao's sake. 
Xiao Yan slightly smiled after issuing his instructions. He lifted his head and looked in the direction of the wormhole. Purifying demonic lotus flame, it had been over a decade. I am finally getting closer to you. End of chapter. Chapter 1391. Returning to the Falling Star Pavilion. The wormhole that was connected to the Falling Star Pavilion was located in the deepest part of the Yan Alliance, protected by an extremely tight defense. Xiao Yan did not make this wormhole known to the public. Although the fees collected from those using the wormhole would be quite a fat sum, Xiao Yan felt that it was better to keep a low profile when it came to such things. Otherwise, it might stir some unnecessary trouble, since there was only one wormhole that lead to the central plains from deep within the northwestern part of the continent. It would cause many to feel jealous if word were to spread. A dark black wormhole was suspended in the air within an incomparably large hull. It was slowly rotating, while waves of shocking spatial fluctuations were emitted from the wormhole. Is this a wormhole? The eyes of Kai Lin's group were a little stunned and curious as they observed this wormhole. This was their first time seeing a wormhole. Such a thing was rarely seen in a place like the northwestern region of the continent. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. Standing beside him was the little fairy doctor, Tianyuo Zunji, and King Lin. Those experts who had been invited had already returned to the Central Plains soon after resolving the trouble from the Profound Lion sect. Big brother, second brother, we will be leaving. If anything happens in the future, you can send someone to the Falling Star Pavilion. There will be someone there to receive you. Xiao Yan turned his head, looked at Xiao Ding and Xiao Li, before he spoke with a smile. The Xiao Duo nodded when they heard this information. Understood. Take care. Xiao Yan smiled, but he did not say anything unnecessary. He cupped his hands to everyone present and then took the lead to step into the wormhole. He immediately disappeared. Kai Lin, who was carrying Xiao Xiao, swiftly followed behind him as did the little fairy doctor's group. Xiao Ding and Xiao Li softly sighed with a sense of loss as they watched Xiao Yan's group disappear within the wormhole. They remained a little longer before leading their people away. The inner hall of the Falling Star Pavilion this is. Your daughter? Yao Lao was studying the white-clothed little girl. She was hugging Xiao Yan's thigh and using her large dark black eyes to stare at him. His elderly face was covered with a stunned expression. Xiao Yan involuntarily smiled and nodded when he saw the way Yao Lao acted. He was aware that Yao Lao had been captured by the Hall of Souls when Kai Lin was suspected of being pregnant. Therefore, he was unaware of this situation, so Xiao Yan briefly explained what had occurred back then. He, how unexpected, how really unexpected. Even with Yao Lao's usual unperturbed temperament, he still involuntarily shook his head after hearing Xiao Yan's story. His eyes swept over Kai Lin as he teased, back then, this wife of yours really hated you. If not for the old me, I'm afraid that you would have been killed by her. Kai Lin's cold face turned a little red when she heard Yao Lao's words. Back then, she had quietly exchanged blows with Yao Lao many times. However, she had not expected the old man from back then, who had appeared only a little stronger than her, to actually be so strong. Xiao Xiao, quickly greet grand teacher. Kai Lin gently patted Xiao Xiao's little head and softly told her what to do. Hearing this, Xiao Xiao blinked her large black eyes. She glanced at Xiao Yan somewhat hesitantly. Only after seeing him smile and nod her head, she timidly called out, grand teacher. Ah. A joyous smile emitted from Yao Lao's heart surfaced on his face after he heard Xiao Xiao's soft voice. He did not have any children, but regarded Xiao Yan as his own son. From his perspective, Xiao Yan's daughter was just like his very own granddaughter. Regardless of how strong an old man at his age was, their hearts would ultimately feel a gentleness for little children. Yao Lao walked forward. The corner of his eyes contained a smile as he touched Xiao Xiao with a face full of love after which, his shriveled hand squeezed Xiao Xiao's little hand. A joy surfaced in his eyes a moment later as he said, what a powerful spiritual strength. She is also of the fire affinity, and her body similarly possesses a trace of wood. It not out of the realm of possibility for her to be an alchemist. Xiao Yan smiled when he heard Yao Lao's exclamation. He had already sensed that Xiao Xiao could be an alchemist with her constitution. Her current abilities were much better than his back then. If she was properly groomed, her future potential would be extraordinary. Her spiritual strength is even stronger than when I discovered you back then. Moreover, her constitution is many times greater than yours. If she is properly groomed, her future achievements will be even greater than yours, her father's. Yao Lao had an excited glint in his eyes. 
This kind of glint was something that Xiao Yan had seen when he had met Yao Lao for the first time. Xiao Yan smiled when he heard Yao Lao's evaluation. Talent and constitution might be important, but one's future achievements were determined by one's perseverance. The reason that Xiao Yan was able to reach this stage today was not because he had relied on his talent. Instead, he had achieved breakthroughs from lingering between life and death during one bloody battle after another. A true expert did not rely on talent, but on great perseverance. Yao Lao's hand continued to pinch Xiao Xiao's bones. His hands used a little more force, causing Xiao Xiao's little mouth to pout. She continued grumble, causing everyone to laugh. Why doesn't the old me teach the little Xiao Xiao in the future? Yao Lao finally lifted his head after pinching her for a long while. His eyes looked at Xiao Yan as he asked without any hesitation. Even he wasn't able to restrain himself when faced with Xiao Xiao, who was like perfect raw jade. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded when he Yao Lao's suggestion. He had brought Xiao Xiao back to the Falling Star Pavilion to be trained by him, no one among those he was acquainted with could surpass Yao Lao's medicinal refinement skills. It was naturally best for him to personally groom Xiao Xiao. Xiao Yan also understood in his heart that Xiao Xiao's talent might be extremely attractive, but her talent wouldn't be enough to cause an expert like Yao Lao to feel anxious. Yao Lao truly regarded Xiao Xiao as his granddaughter and wished she would grow up perfect. This caused Xiao Yan to feel a little moved in his heart. This child has been traveling with you through the wormhole for a couple of days. Let her properly rest first. Yao Lao lovingly patted Xiao Xiao's head and handed her back to Kai Lin with some unwillingness. Subsequently, he instructed someone to help Kai Lin and her daughter settle down. In that case, the both of you should continue chatting. Kai Lin was someone who was mindful of others. She was aware that this teacher and disciple needed to speak about something. Hence, she softly spoke to Xiao Yan before leaving slowly with Xiao Xiao. Yao Lao withdrew his eyes only after seeing Kai Lin take Xiao Xiao away. He smiled and said, little fellow, you have helped give birth to a good daughter. However, you being together with Medusa has exceeded my expectation. Xiao Yan spread his hands. The relationship between him and Kai Lin was quite complicated. Who would have imagined that Queen Medusa, who had been chasing Xiao Yan with a murderous intent for many years, would actually become his wife? I have also heard about the matter this time around. Being able to dispatch two Tianzins is sufficient to show that the Hall of Souls is not fooling around. However, they suffered a great loss this time. The ninth Tianzin was killed on the spot by you, and that fourth Tianzin was beaten half to death before fleeing. Yao Lao fondled his beard and laughed. Honestly speaking, I do not know what the Hall of Souls is planning to do. This clan has always been mysterious and unfathomable. They definitely carrying out a scheme from the way they are gathering souls. Moreover, from the recent increase of soul gathering, this scheme is likely progressing very quickly. Based on the information that I have obtained, it seems that some big wars have erupted in other parts of the continent outside the Central Plains. The Hall of Souls is likely involved in these wars. Yao Lao mused. Oh. Wars has erupted across other parts of the continent? Xiao Yan's expression changed upon hearing this. He felt a little uneasy. Just what were these fellows from the Hall of Souls planning? I. Yao Lao's nodded with a solemn expression. He softly sighed a moment later and changed the topic of conversation. There is still half a month left before the spatial trade fair begins. We should also properly prepare during this period of time. Those who are able to participate in the spatial trade fair are all top experts and powerful factions. The purifying demonic lotus flame is too attractive. Since we have been able to obtain news about it, other factions will also be aware of it. Hence, we will definitely have to pay a great price in order to compete for the final map fragment. Xiao Yan nodded. The purifying demonic lotus flame was ranked third on the heavenly flame ranking. This rank alone indicated its great strength. Its allure was naturally something that need not be mentioned. Even though it was just a map fragment, its value would be quite frightening. It would not be easy to successfully obtain it from the many competitors. Regardless of what happens, we need to obtain the purifying demonic lotus flame. There are four map fragments. Three of them are in your hands. We must obtain the last piece no matter what. Yao Lao remarked. The heavenly flames in the top three spots of the heavenly flame ranking possessed an extremely destructive force. These three types of heavenly flames were extremely rare in the world. Even after tens of thousands of years or even hundreds of thousands of years, it would be difficult to form another one. 
it was even rumored that the world did not dare create too many of the top three heavenly flames due to them being overly powerful. Only when one of the heavenly flames completely disappeared would a second flame appear after tens of thousands of years. This divine thing was feared by the spirits of the world. End of chapter. Chapter 1392. Spatial Trade Fair. Once Xiao Yan had returned to the Falling Star Pavilion, both he and Yao Lao undertook a retreat at the same time. While the both of them were taking their retreats, pillow lightning and other unnatural phenomenons would often appear in the sky above the Falling Star Pavilion. These frequent events caused many Falling Star Pavilion's disciples to watch them in surprise. However, these unusual phenomenons did not damage anything in the star realm. A couple of dark golden figures would quietly charge into the thunder clouds when the pill lightning formed and would absorb all the pill lightning as wave after wave of rumbling sounds echoed. This kind of unusual phenomenon continued for nearly half a month before they gradually slowed. Yao Lao and Xiao Yan slowly walked out of the stone tower on the mountain behind the falling star pavilion half a month later. Their expressions were filled with fatigue. They exchanged glances with each other but did not have the strength to utter any unnecessary words. Both returned to their own rooms and rested for three full days. Xiao Yan and Yao Lao only met again at noon on the third day. After three days of rest, their auras had completely recovered. Let's leave. Yao Lao smiled and spoke when he saw Xiao Yan. After counting the time, the spatial trade fair was about to begin. It was time they leave. Xiao Yan nodded. At this moment, only Kai Lin and the little fairy doctor came with him. The Falling Star Pavilion was their stronghold, and Yao Lao was going to leave this time around. Hence, it was better for more people to remain behind to bolster the defenses. I have already arranged the matters of the Falling Star Pavilion appropriately, and will hurry back if any accidents occur. Yao Lao stood at the top of a mountain that overlooked the star realm. He smiled and did not remain any longer. His foot stepped through empty air as he swiftly rushed to the exit of the star realm. Let's leave too. Xiao Yan turned his head and urged Kai Lin and the little fairy doctor, after seeing Yao Lao leave. The little fairy doctor gently nodded as the three of them swiftly followed Yao Lao. The spatial trade fair was an unfamiliar term within the central plains. Only the top factions and experts across the continent were aware about information related to the spatial trade fair. When the so-called spatial trade fair began, there was no specific organizer, but everything ultimately required some rules to keep people in line. As the spatial trade fair gradually expanded, a suitable organizer finally appeared. However, this organizer was not a single expert or faction. Instead, order was maintained by three sects with names that were not very well known. The three sects were the Ground Line Gate, Mysterious Space Sect, and Reflecting Treasure Mountain. These three sects' names were not as renowned as the four pavilions. However, in terms of strength, even factions like the Burning Flame Valley and the Profound Sky Sect would not underestimate them. There were many hidden powers within the Central Plains. The so-called One Hall One Tower, Two Sects Three Valleys, Four Pavilions could not be the strongest factions within the Central Plains. Some factions kept an extremely low profile, but they also possessed an extremely solid foundation and strength. Moreover, the strength of these factions did not lose to any well-known faction, but these factions did not expose themselves to the eyes of the ordinary people due to their style. These three factions were quite trustworthy in the eyes of the experts from the Central Plains. After having dealt with them a countless number of times, they were selected as the organizers by many sharp-eyed experts. Thus, no accidents would occur at the event. The spatial trade fair had become bigger and more grand, while being jointly managed by the three factions. Many reclusive experts would be attracted by the ultimate treasures that were trades. This fair could be considered the most lucrative trading ground across the entire Du Qi continent. Even Tian class Du skills were not extremely rare at this spatial trade fair. Of course, if one wished to obtain such a skill, one needed to take out something that would satisfy the other party. One should not think of trying to rob at this event. Otherwise, one would suffer the combined attack of the three large organizing sects and would be viewed with enmity by the other experts, because anyone who wanted to participate in this spatial trade fair needed to swear that they would attack anyone who caused trouble during the event. Most of the genuine experts still kept the words that they had sworn. Although something like this occurred during some past events, those who wanted to forcefully snatch someone else's item would not have a good ending. It was due to all these rules that the spatial trade fair had grown. The number of top experts it attracted also increased. 
The location of the spatial trade fair was held in a barren desert in the southern part of the Central Plains. Sand and wind normally blew over this place, causing it to be without people. Moreover, this was a poor area and there would seldom be any faction trying to profit from it. Hence, this desert was a barren wasteland. An ordinary person would never be able to imagine that this place, where even a wild beast would not wish to go, was the best trading area within the Central Plains. Swoosh. The rushing sound of wind suddenly appeared in the clear sky outside of the desert and four blurry figures flashed down. The next moment, they appeared on the edge of the desert. Is it here? Xiao Yan lifted his head and looked at the desert where yellow sand raged. He asked his question in surprise. I. Yao Lao smiled and nodded. His eyes slowly swept around him as he faintly laughed. This place might appear completely deserted, but if you sense carefully, you can tell that there are quite a number of powerful auras inside. Xiao Yan lifted his brows when he heard Yao Lao's words. His heart shook as his spiritual perception spread out in all directions. Surprise swiftly surged onto his face. He had briefly swept his spiritual perception around and had discovered over a hundred auras in this desert. The weakest of these auras was at the three star du Zun class, while the strongest one vaguely emitted a unique fluctuation. Xiao Yan had sensed such a ripple from Yao Lao many times before. It was a mysterious fluctuation that only an elite Du Sheng possessed. Although this ripple was extremely faint, it also meant that the owner of the aura had at least reached the eight change peak of the ninth star of the Du Zun class. Otherwise, it would be impossible to create such a fluctuation. It is indeed worthy of being the highest grade trade fair within the Central Plains. It has attracted so many experts. Xiao Yan softly praised. These were only the auras he could sense. His heart was aware that there were some auras he could not detect. The owners of these auras would likely have a saint in their name. Ha ha, this is only a small portion. After entering it, you will realize that it truly lives up to its reputation of being high-end. Yao Lao fondled his beard and laughed. He immediately added somewhat seriously, all of you should behave once we enter. There are many experts inside. Some of the hidden sects might not be well known, but their sect might contain an old demon-like Du Sheng existence. Hence, it is best to avoid offending them if we can. Xiao Yan's group nodded when they heard Yao Lao warn them. The current falling star pavilion might be rapidly developing, but this was because it was relying on Yao Lao's alchemist status and his Bansheng strength. Otherwise, the falling star pavilion was merely a faction that was similar to the wind lightning pavilion. One might not be able to say that one could find a large number of similar factions in the central plains, but there were definitely quite a few of them. Of course, if others come provoking us, we must naturally not be softies. Yao Lao faintly smiled as he spoke. The Bansheng class might not be unmatchable, but he still had another status. He was a well-known alchemist in the Central Plains. In the face of this title, even those true elite Du Sheng would not act arrogant when meeting him. Let's go. Yao Lao did not say anything else after his words sounded. With a wave of his hand, his body stepped through empty air as he rushed toward the deepest part of the desert. The yellow sandstorm that blew along the way automatically disappeared when it was around a hundred meters from his body. Xiao Yan and the other two followed close behind. This sandstorm that an ordinary person was extremely terrified of did not pose any obstruction to them. Hence, Xiao Yan's group had reached the deepest part of the desert ten minutes later. They followed Yao Lao and ascended a very steep mountain of sand. Their eyes swept over the other side of the sand mountain when they reached the top. A shock surged onto their faces. One could see a thousand-foot-large black hole slowly rotating at the top of the towering sand mountain, which was located in the middle of the desert. Waves of suction forces slowly spread from it. At this moment, a couple of people with extremely powerful auras flashed down from the surrounding sand mountains. They charged into the wormhole and disappeared. This is the entrance of the spatial trade fair, huh? Its own realm has been created for it. How grand. Xiao Yan softly sighed and muttered to himself as he studied this scene. End of chapter. Chapter 1393? Eight Colored Origin Stone. Yao Lao smiled upon seeing the stunned expressions of Xiao Yan's trio. He waved his hand and said, Let's enter. Xiao Yan and the other two nodded when they heard Yao Lao's suggestion. Their bodies moved, and they rushed toward the towering sand mountain. They had appeared in front of the spatial black hole within a couple of flashes. There were occasionally some figures rushing by when the four of them arrived. Their eyes paused on Xiao Yan's group before taking a second glance at Kai Lin and the little fairy doctor. Those who could come to this place were no fools. 
they were clearly aware of the type of people who would come. Hence, rarely would any foolish people purposefully step forward and find trouble. Yao Lao ignored these gazes. He stepped through empty air and walked into the spatial black hole. Xiao Yan's group followed close behind. The three of them felt an unusual strength sweeping over them when they entered the spatial black hole. There was no ill intention to this force. Instead, it seemed like it was probing. Everything turned momentarily black in front of Xiao Yan's group after they entered the black hole. Soon after, light and noise began to appear. They blinked their eyes. The world in front of them had changed into a small town. When one's eyes glanced toward the sky of the small town, one would find that it was completely gray. There was a wild and violent spatial ripple vaguely being emitted. This is Space Town, the location where the spatial trade fair is held. Although this place is not as spacious as the Gu Realm, it is large enough to be used as a trading location. Yao Lao looked at the busy streets and laughed. Xiao Yan and the other two nodded. Being able to create a realm as a trading location was quite a grand thing to do. Although this realm was not large, it was not something that an ordinary person could create. Let's randomly roam first. There are no inferior products here. All of them are rare items. Yao Lao laughed. After which, he took a step and walked toward a street. Xiao Yan's group followed behind him with curious faces. Their eyes continued to sweep around them. Green stone platforms filled both sides of the street. Things like scrolls, jade bottles, weapons, and monster core had been placed on them. A faint light was being emitted from these objects, indicating that they were not ordinary things. Some human figures were seated behind the stone platforms, and all of these people boasted strong auras. Clearly, they were not people that one could easily offend. Earth Demon Kick, D-Class High Grade Do Skill. Great Mysterious Skill, D-Class High Grade Key Method. Body Transformation Pill, Tier 7 High Grade Medicinal Pill. 10,000-year-old bloody spiritual ginseng. Various dazzling items continued to enter Xiao Yan's sight, while his eyes continued to leap around. The rarity of some of the things caused an excitement to rise within Xiao Yan's heart despite his calmness. The pretty eyes of Kai Lin and the little fairy doctor by the sight also revealed an unusual glitter. Earth Core Spirit Serum. The medicinal pill refined by it can attract a six-colored pill lightning. Xiao Yan's eyes swept over the medicinal ingredients that were emitting a shocking energy. He softly inhaled a mouthful of cold air. It was unexpected that such a thing was also present in this place. The street was not long, only a couple of hundred meters. When Xiao Yan discovered that they had reached the end, he finally withdrew his eyes while feeling not fully satisfied. His face was stunned. Just as street alone had over ten things that he was interested in. Although Xiao Yan was interested in them, they were of little use to him. Hence, after some brief inquiries, Xiao Yan decided to give up exchanging for them. The value of the things that these old cunning fellows wanted to exchange for was not the least bit inferior to the things they were selling. Xiao Yan softly sighed in a somewhat regretful manner. He had just pulled Kyle into a deeper part of the town when he discovered that she had suddenly stilled. He quickly became startled. He looked in the direction that she was staring. There was a seven-colored stone there. This stone was around the size of half a fist. There were seven extremely clear lines on it, and a special energy was vaguely radiating from it. Seven-colored origin stone? Xiao Yan's brows slightly twitched. He quietly came to a sudden understanding when he recognized this thing. This so-called seven-colored origin stone was a mutated spiritual stone. It possessed a unique relationship with the seven-colored heaven-swallowing python. It was rumored that a seven-colored origin stone would hardly ever appear at the spot where a seven-colored heaven-swallowing python died. A seven-colored origin stone had absorbed the blood of a heaven-swallowing python to create a unique energy. This energy served as nourishment to a seven-colored heaven-swallowing python. No wonder Kai Lin would stop because of it. Xiao Yan slowly stepped forward. His eyes drifted to the back of the stone platform. A shriveled old man was sitting weakly at that spot. He did not greet Xiao Yan's group, which had stopped in front of the stone platform. This elderly sir, may I know what you want in exchange for this seven-colored origin stone? Xiao Yan did not mind the old man's attitude as he faintly smiled and asked. That skinny old man finally lifted his eyes after hearing Xiao Yan's words. He slowly said, two tier eight medicinal pills with at least three colored pill lightning. It seems a little expensive, no? Xiao Yan's hand rubbed the seven-colored origin stone. This thing might be rare, but it was not that rare. More importantly, its value was limited. It was only useful to a seven-colored heaven-swallowing python. 
it was pointless for anyone else to obtain it. Hence, its value was not equivalent to two tier 8 medicinal pills with three or more colors of pill lightning. Yao Lao crossed his hands and stood by the side. He did not interrupt. All he did was smiled as he watched Xiao Yan bargain with that skinny old man. Don't exchange for it if you think it is expensive. That skinny old man was full of character as he rolled his eyes. His tone did not treat Xiao Yan as a customer. Xiao Yan could only roll his eyes, but he did not reach the stage where he was about to erupt in anger. If he did not even have this patience, he would not have been able to endure those bitter trainings. While Xiao Yan planned to continue bargaining with the other party, Kai Lin by the side suddenly grabbed Xiao Yan's hand. Her somewhat cold but delicate finger gently wrote a word on Xiao Yan's palm. Bye. Xiao Yan was slightly startled by Kai Lin. He understood that Kai Lin was not a foolish woman. Moreover, a seven-colored origin stone might be rare, but it was not something that she must have at all costs, yet she continued to insist. She had even secretly passed such a message to Xiao Yan. In which case, it was worth deliberating about this matter. Although Xiao Yan had received Kai Lin's message, he did not immediately change his words. He continued to bargain with that skinny old man. Once Xiao Yan became a little irritated, he threw a jade bottle over and grabbed the seven-colored origin stone before turning around with Kai Lin to leave. That skinny old man was startled when he saw Xiao Yan's agile trade. He grabbed the jade bottle in front of him and checked its content, feeling a little stunned. A moment later, he frowned and looked at the backs of Xiao Yan's group, which were disappearing in the distance. He felt that something was amiss in his heart without understanding why. Damn it, has the old me identified it wrong? But that is obviously a seven-colored origin stone. What is with that fellow? The skinny old man muttered doubtfully. However, there was no one there to unravel his doubt. After grabbing the seven-colored origin stone, Xiao Yan's group quickly disappeared from the old man's sight. Only after taking a turn did Xiao Yan halt. He handed the seven-colored origin stone to Kai Lin and asked, is there something wrong with this stone? Yao Lao and the little fairy doctor by the side were surprised as they waited for Kai Lin to explain. They quickly examined the seven-colored origin stone but were unable to detect a difference. Ugh. Kai Lin received the seven-colored origin stone. A smile surfaced on her cold face as she said, an ordinary person only knows that the place where a seven-colored heaven-swallowing python died has a chance of forming a seven-colored origin stone. However, they are unaware that if a hundred or more seven-colored heaven-swallowing python die in the same spot, there is a chance an eight-colored or even nine-colored origin stone will form but it is basically impossible for a hundred seven-colored heaven-swallowing python to die at the same spot. Hence, an ordinary person is only aware of the seven-colored origin stone, not the eight or nine-color stones. The true peak of the seven-colored heaven-swallowing python is not known by this name. Instead, it is called the nine-colored heaven-swallowing python, but only those heaven-swallowing python ancestors with the richest bloodline will be able to reach that level. This is a memory that is inherited from the bloodline of the heaven-swallowing python. An ordinary person, even people like you, do not know this. Upon hearing these words, not only was Xiao Yan surprised, even Yao Lao was a little stunned. Clearly, they had never heard of this secret. No wonder only you can recognize it. Xiao Yan bitterly smiled and shook his head. He curiously asked, in that case, is this origin stone eight or nine colors? Kai Lin's fingernail cut her finger. A drop of blood landed on the origin stone. One could see a slowly wiggling line appear behind the seventh line on the smooth surface of the rock. In order to see just how many colors this origin stone has, one must use the blood of a seven-colored heaven-swallowing python. Eight-colored origin stone. Xiao Yan felt a little pity when he saw this. If this was a nine-colored origin stone, Kai Lin would have gained a lot this time around. Of course, he was aware that this was his own greed. Eight colors was already not bad. If it was used properly, it would significantly increase Kai Lin's strength. The eight-colored stone might be different than the seven-colored stone by a color, but the energy that was contained in them was vastly different. He, if that old fellow was aware of this, it is likely that he would spit out a mouthful of blood. Yao Lao smiled. It was unexpected that they would find such a gain after having just arrived at the spatial trade fair. Let's go, I will bring all of you to see a true treasure. The thing that we need is also there. Yao Lao waved his hand. After which, he turned his body and walked to one side of the street. Xiao Yan and the little fairy doctor quickly followed. Finally, Kai Lin rubbed the eight-colored origin stone in her hand before she put it into her storage ring. 
she did not discover the extremely tiny line that quietly appeared behind the eighth line when she put the origin stone. End of chapter. Chapter 1394. Ancient Hall. Space Town was not very large. It was only comprised of a couple of intersecting ancient streets, and there were many people in this small town. Moreover, all of them were extremely powerful individuals. They were all top-tier experts in the outside world while they were simply common and ordinary here. Xiao Yan and the two others followed Yao Lao as they wandered across a couple of ancient streets. They did not stop along the way because of the dazzling items on both sides. They hurried to their destination before finally stopping at the end of a street. Their destination was on the edge of Space Town. The surroundings had become quite empty and it was no longer as noisy as before. An ancient building stood at this spot as an extremely old feeling spread from it. It was as though it had been standing there forever, causing one to be afraid of slighting it. There were two expressionless old men in grey robes standing outside of the building. The two of them stood without moving, appearing just like statues. However, there was still a powerful Du Qi fluctuation vaguely spreading around their bodies, causing one's heart to feel odd. Just these two door guards alone had reached the level of six-star Du Zuns. An expert of such a level would be be treated as a VIP, even in the Profound Sky Sect or the current Falling Star Pavilion. From this, one could tell the high standards of this spatial trade fair. This ancient treasure pavilion is not a place that anyone can just enter. One must obtain an invitation from the three great sects in order to enter. Obtaining this invitation is not as easy as one might imagine. Yao Lao smiled. Unless one was an expert or faction that was worthy of being trusted by the three great sects organizing the spatial trade fair, one would not be able to obtain this invitation. Yao Lao could be considered an old patron. Naturally, it was not too difficult for him to obtain an invitation. Xiao Yan's trio nodded slightly. Not just anyone could come here. Yao Lao walked toward the door after his words sounded. He flicked his finger and a red glow shot out of his sleeve and headed toward the two old men. One of the old men grabbed it, and the red glow turned into a bright red invitation card. Welcome. The expressionless old men revealed a change when they received the red light. Their turbid eyes glanced at Yao Lao's group before bowing. One of them waved his sleeve, and four black lights shot toward Xiao Yan's group. After which, the light remained suspended in front of them. The lights were surprisingly dark black daupings. Most who enter this place hide their identities. After all, one does not display one's wealth. These daupings are specially made by the three great sect. It can prevent others from probing. Yao Lao smiled as he explained. He immediately put on the daoping, which hit his entire body. Xiao Yan's group also put them on. Let's go. Yao Lao smiled. After which, he led the way into the pavilion that was filled with an ancient aura. Xiao Yan's group followed close behind. Xiao Yan's eyes swept around when their footsteps entered this ancient pavilion. The building was dimly lit and appeared ordinary. There was nothing special to it, nor was there any feeling of treasure. Four guests, please follow me. A grey-robed old man quickly walked over while Xiao Yan was observing his surroundings. He softly informed them before walking to the deepest part of the dim building. Yao Lao did not say anything as he followed. He was very familiar with his surroundings. The trio behind him quickly followed. The group walked through some corridors of the building for a couple of minutes. Finally, they stopped in front of a large bronze door. That old man also paused his footsteps and cupped his hands to Yao Lao. He did not say anything unnecessary as he quietly left. This is our destination. Yao Lao softly stated. After which, he slowly pushed open the ancient bronze door. A faint light shot out from within, but Yao Lao did not dodge it. Instead, he took a step and walked in. Xiao Yan's trio followed him through the bronze door. Xiao Yan's eyes were narrowed, and after the intense light disappeared, an ancient hull that was half the size of a stadium appeared in front of their eyes. The interior of the ancient hall was filled with many stone chairs. At this moment, many figures were already seated, and these people's faces were also hidden by a black doping like Xiao Yan's group. No one could tell the other party's identity. The entrance of Xiao Yan's group attracted some scanning eyes, but these eyes quickly shifted away. Xiao Yan still sensed some eyes secretly scanning over them. It seemed that they were planning to discover their identities through an opening. Yao Lao did not respond to these inquisitive gazes. He walked to a slightly more deserted spot and sat in a chair. He waved his sleeve, and the surrounding space became distorted. There are many experts present. We must be careful. Otherwise, our conversations can be discovered by them. 
Yao Lao faintly explained. Xiao Yan nodded when he heard this. His eyes swept around him. He discovered quite a number of spatial traces in some other spots. Clearly, the others present were quite cautious. Let's quietly wait first. The transactions in this place will likely begin very soon. Yao Lao softly spoke before becoming quiet. Xiao Yan could sense that Yao Lao seemed to be slowly scanning the hall at this moment. It seemed that he wanted to discover these people's backgrounds. Xiao Yan was naturally unable to help Yao Lao much when it came to such probing. With his eight star dues on strength, he might be considered extremely strong in the outside world, but there was at least ten people in this room that could surpass him. Plus he was naturally too lazy to scan the room. Otherwise, he might end up attracting some unnecessary trouble. While Yao Lao probed, the rest remained silent as two hours quietly passed. Some figures wearing black daupings entered the hall during these two hours. A rough glance revealed that there were over a hundred people present. Huh. Yao Lao by the side softly sighed, while Xiao Yan was waiting with boredom. Only then did Xiao Yan turn his head and softly inquire, have you managed to find anything? Ha ha, there have been some gains. It seems that some familiar people have come. Yao Lao smiled, but he did not reveal who these familiar people were, so Xiao Yan could only helplessly shake his head. Clang. A clear gong sound suddenly appeared in this quiet ancient hall, while Xiao Yan was feeling helpless, and a white-haired white-bearded old man, who looked like a dying man, slowly appeared in front of everyone's eyes from distorted space. Xiao Yan knit his brows under the doping when he discovered the white-haired old man. Based on his senses, this half-dead old man was quite frightening. The strange fluctuation that only an elite Du Sheng possessed vaguely appeared around him. Nine change peak Du Zun, huh? Xiao Yan muttered to himself. This white-haired old man likely had half a foot in the Bansheng class. If the Du Qi within his body were suppressed once more, it would undergo a transformation that would allow him to advance to a Bansheng. This is the mountain chief of the reflecting treasure mountain, old man Bao Shan. He has seen an unimaginable number of treasures in his lifetime and has extremely sharp eyes. When I first met him back then, he was already a renowned expert across the central plains. The current him has already become a nine change peak Du Zun. He is only a short distance from a Ban Sheng. Yao Lao's soft voice was transmitted into the ears of Xiao Yan's trio. Nine change peak Du Zun. Kai Lin and the little fairy doctor revealed grave expressions on their faces when they heard these words, especially Kai Lin. Her heart was a little shaken. The central plains were indeed worthy of being the area with the highest standard in the Duki continent. If such an expert came to the northwestern part of the continent, that expert would definitely be at the top, but he had appeared to host the trade fair. Of course, this was not an ordinary trade fair. Ha ha, it is another spatial trade fair. How is everyone doing? That old man Bao Shan swept his eyes over the large hall. His elderly voice echoed beside everyone's ears, but no one present responded to his greeting. The atmosphere of the hall was still strangely quiet. Old man Bao Shan was also unconcerned with this response. It was not the first time he had experienced this. He waved his sleeve and the space around him slowly became distorted. It seemed like a spatial prison had surrounded old man Bao Shan. The old rules still apply. Everyone should not mind it too much. Old man Bao Shan smiled after doing this. After which, he stood on the auction stage in front, let out a cough, and said, almost everyone is here. In that case, I shall not say anything unnecessary. Let's begin this trade fair. After the final sentence of old man Bao Shan sounded, all the gazes within the large hall immediately gathered on him. There was some anticipation and excitement vaguely present. Everyone knew that the things offered at this trade fair were not ordinary. End of chapter. Chapter 1395. The Last Map Fragment. Next, we will begin auctioning the first object of this spatial trade fair. Old man Bao Shan's hand rubbed the empty space in front of him from within his distorted spatial wall. A pair of dense white bone wings appeared in front of everyone's eyes. The faint sound of wind lightning was emitted from the ancient wings. Demon Phoenix wings? Xiao Yan was startled when he saw this pair of familiar bone wings. His expression immediately became a little strange. He had always heard that the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe greatly valued the corpses and bloodline of their tribe members. Anyone who dared to take a corpse would be surrounded and attacked by the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe. Hence, he had always been afraid about revealing the Heaven Phoenix wings on him. Unexpectedly, the first item to be sold in this spatial trade fair were these wings. 
He, looks like the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe has met with many sneak attacks, but it is expected. The Heaven Demon Phoenix's body is full of treasures. It is not strange for someone to target them. Xiao Yan gloated within his heart. He was also clearly aware that the only auction hall that dared to deal with the Demon Phoenix wings was only the spatial trade fair. Demon Phoenix wings, the wings of a Heaven Demon Phoenix. Everyone present should be aware of how rare they are. If they are refined into a flying do skill, no one of the same level would be able to catch up to you in terms of speed. It is a must-have to kill others or flee. Old man Bao Shan smiled as he spoke. His words clearly indicated that he was not afraid of offending the Heaven Demon Phoenix. The owner of these Demon Phoenix wings wishes to exchange them for a tier 8 medicinal pill that is experienced to four-colored pill lightning. After our evaluation, the Demon Phoenix wings are worth this much. Hence, anyone who is interested can begin bidding. The large hall once again descended into silence after old man Bao Shan's words sounded. Xiao Yan crossed his hands in front of his chest. He leaned his body against the backrest and watched everyone with great interest. He was already in possession of a pair of demon phoenix wings and naturally understood the benefits. By relying on them, Xiao Yan had escaped from the hands of people far stronger than him many times. However, since Xiao Yan already possessed them, he would not place his attention on them. The large hall was completely silent. No one spoke, but old man Bao Shan was not anxious. His face was still full of smiles. This silence continued for around five minutes before a hoarse voice finally said, I want it. Xiao Yan's eyes looked in the direction of where the voice had originated. He saw a human figure in a doping randomly toss a jade bottle toward old man Bao Shan. Old man Bao Shan received the jade bottle. He opened it and took a glance before smiling. His eyes looked around him and asked, is there anyone willing to offer a higher price than this? The surroundings were completely silent. This did not surprise old man Bao Shan. The original owner of these demon phoenix wings was a six-star Du Zun. It was not bad that it could be exchanged for a four-color pill lightning tier 8 medicinal pill. No one would compete for it with a higher price since it was not worth it. Old man Bao Shan smiled when he saw no one open their mouths. With a flick of his finger, the demon phoenix wings in front of him flew to the person who had offered the bid. The bidder grabbed the wings and stuffed them into his storage ring. This transaction was very simple. Both parties would exchange goods at the same time since the things they were exchanging for were all extremely expensive. This place is different than an ordinary auction. Unless there is a special reason, most people will choose to give up when the things that they fork out far surpass the things that they wish to buy. After all, the people here are not some suckers. Yao Lao softly explained. Xiao Yan nodded. It was likely that one could find dozens of people here who could take out something that surpassed a four-colored pill lightning tier 8 medicinal pill. However, only one person had offered the bid earlier. It was partially because the allure of this demon phoenix wings was insufficient, but it also indicated the calmness of these people. Ha ha, the second item that we will be auctioning today. Old man Bao Shan smiled after having successfully completed the first transaction. Another object once again flashed and appeared in front of him. Surprisingly, it was a pale golden scroll. King Kong glass body, Tian class low level do skill. This do skill was created by Saint Liu Li a thousand years ago. If one practices this do skill to its peak, one's body would appear as indestructible as metal, one's punch could collapse the sky, and one's feet could crack the ground. It is a kind of powerful do skill that combines both offense and defense together. Surprise flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes when he heard old man Bao Shan's introduction. This King Kong glass body seemed to be a method to train one's physical body. It was likely quite powerful in order to reach that Yan class. This do skills owner wishes to exchange it for a Yan class low level water affinity key method. Of course, it is also all right if one takes out some medicinal pills of equal value. Old man Bao Shan smiled as he spoke. Quite a number of people present in this large hall were quite interested in this do skill. Hence, someone threw out a pale blue scroll after old man Bao Shan spoke. The scroll finally landed in old man Bao Shan's hands. Old man Bao Shan received the scroll. He opened it and took a glance. After which, he lifted his head and looked around him. Before he could speak, another two people threw scrolls at him. Within less than two minutes, four scrolls had appeared in old man Bao Shan's hands. There were four people who were interested in this King Kong glass body. Xiao Yan involuntarily sighed in his heart as he looked at the scroll in old man Bao Shan's hands. The four scrolls were Tian class low-grade key methods. 
it had been only a short while, but many Tian class key methods, which were extremely rare in the outside world, had appeared. This scene caused even Xiao Yan to involuntarily sigh in his heart. It was indeed the case that one came into contact with different things at a certain level. Back then, he had fought a life and death battle before he luckily managed to obtain a Tian class low level do skill. No one else joined the bit after four scrolls were thrown out. Old man Bao Shan opened each of the four scrolls and carefully read through them. A moment later, he slowly shut his eyes. They were once again opened a minute later. He flicked his finger and three of the scrolls in his hand shot back to their owners. He laughed after the owner of the do skill looked the offers over, a conclusion has been reached for this transaction. His sleeve was flicked as he spoke. The golden-colored do key scroll in front of him flew to the back of the hall. Subsequently, it landed in the hands of a black-robed person. This scroll was put in that person's storage ring in the blink of an eye. Humph. The three others let out a soft displeased snort when the key methods they offered were not selected. Clearly, they were in a bad mood. Old man Bao Shan acted as though he did not hear these voices. He continued to conduct the trade fair. The items that appeared during the subsequent trades became more dazzling. From do skills to key methods, from medicinal pills to great natural treasures, from weapons to medicinal cauldrons. Each item that was taken out would stir quite a commotion in the outside world, but they were not shocking here. Although these auctioned objects were rare, Xiao Yan did not bid for them. He did not bid for anything other than a poison book called Sky Quiet Poison Code. He had used two five-colored pill lightning tier 8 medicinal pills to purchase the book for the little fairy doctor. One reason why he did not bid for more items was because the items that the other party requested were quite harsh. Another reason was that he did not need these objects in his heart. The so-called Sky Quiet Poison Code had been created by an elite Du Sheng called Saint Sky Quiet Poison thousands of years ago. This elite Du Sheng loved to use poison throughout his life. Hence, he had left behind a scroll containing the refinement methods of various mysterious poisons. Some of the lethal poisons could cause even an elite Du Zun to become miserable. Although this book possessed a great might, it required one to have researched poisons before and was rather unorthodox. Otherwise, it would not have been possible for Xiao Yan to purchase it so easily. Although Xiao Yan did not purchase anything for himself, the perplexing objects being auctioned opened Xiao Yan's eyes. Only at this moment did he understand why so many top experts rushed to the spatial trade fair. The things that were being traded here were extremely rare. As one rare object after another was successfully exchanged, the atmosphere in the large hall became much hotter. Heated eyes shot out from many daupings. They stared intently at old man Bao Shan in the middle of the hall. However, the thing that caused Xiao Yan to frown was that the map fragment related to the purifying demon lotus flame had yet to appear. Next, we will begin auctioning the second to last item of this trade fair. Old man Bao Shan, who had just successfully traded an item at a high price, lifted his head and displayed an extremely happy face. He smiled and clenched his hand, and a yellowish ancient skin appeared in his hand. Xiao Yan, who was feeling a little impatient in his heart, suddenly lifted his head when this ancient skin appeared. He stared at the ancient map fragment, while his breathing within the Daoping had become much rougher and heavier. This map was something he was very familiar with because Xiao Yan had been searching for them for over a decade. Ha ha, this is only a map fragment. There is no special energy to it. However, after studying it, we have come to the conclusion that this map fragment is related to the legendary purifying demon Lotus Flame. Old man Bao Shan lifted the old skin with his hand. All the eyes within the large hall gathered on the ancient map fragment after old man Bao Shan's words rang out. The purifying demon Lotus Flame was ranked third on the Heavenly Flame ranking. This kind of heavenly flame, which seemed to exist only in legends, was something that even someone like Yao Lao had never personally seen. Everyone present was clearly aware of the strength of the top three heavenly flames. They were a true force that could destroy the world and were already beyond the control of humans. Anyone who could obtain and control this heavenly flame would find very few opponents within the Duki continent. This was because this heavenly flame represented an extreme destructive force. End of chapter. Chapter 1396. Information. Old man Bao Shan smiled when he saw the completely silent hall. He was clearly aware of the allure of the purifying demon lotus flame. Hence, he had left the map fragment as the second to last item before taking it out. Many fiery hot pairs of eyes within the large hall were staring at the map fragment. Those present were not ordinary people. 
Even the purifying demon lotus flame was a legendary thing to them. They had only heard of it and had never truly seen it. Of course, this did not hinder anyone from coveting it. Anything powerful would ultimately attract countless pairs of greedy eyes, regardless of the danger involved. Although this map fragment was not the true purifying demon lotus flame, one would be able to obtain some information related to the purifying demon lotus flame by obtaining it. If they could obtain it, the benefits could be described as endless. Ha ha, the owner of this map fragment wishes to exchange it for some medicinal pills. Of course, the quality of the medicinal pills must be at least a six-colored pill lightning. As for the quantity, that will depend on everyone. Old man Bao Shan smiled. His eyes swept over the hull before he said, the bidding will begin now. Everyone, please offer your bids. There were many people in the large hall who were interested in this map fragment. Immediately, a harsh elderly voice said, three six-colored pill lightning tier 8 medicinal pills. Four six-colored pill lightning tier 8 medicinal pills. Five. Many bids were suddenly issued from the large hall within less than two short minutes. The hall's atmosphere abruptly became fiery hot. The bidding price swiftly rose in front of old man Bao Shan's smiling eyes. Everyone clearly understood that the map fragment was worth far more than these offers. However, if one could rely on this map fragment to find the purifying lotus demon flame, this loss would not be worth mentioning. What should we do now? Xiao Yan frowned and softly asked after learning that so many people were interested. Don't be anxious, let's wait. Yao Lao shook his head as he replied. Xiao Yan could only nod his head when he heard Yao Lao's response. He forcefully calmed his heart. The frown on his brows deepened when he heard the continuously rising price. He had indeed underestimated the allure of the purifying demon lotus flame. Even though it was only a map fragment, it caused all these people to act crazy. The bid continued to rapidly rise amid numerous cries that refused to give in to each other. Within less than 10 minutes, the price had already risen to 9 six-colored pill lightning tier 8 medicinal pills. This bid caused even Xiao Yan's expression to become a little ugly. A bid that involved so many six-colored pill lightning medicinal pills had exceeded his expectations. Fortunately, the current price had exceeded the point most people could accept. Hence, the number of people bidding also decreased, but everyone knew that these remaining people were truly wealthy individuals. Five seven-colored pill lightning tier eight medicinal pills. A cold cry that contained some anger suddenly echoed after the previous bid. This price was undoubtedly high, and the large hall quickly became quieter. Many eyes followed the origin of the sound that had been transmitted, but all they saw was a figure completely covered by a black robe. Eight pills. An elderly voice suddenly sounded in a simple manner. Xiao Yan quietly sighed in his heart when he heard this voice. Yao Lao had finally begun to bid. However, Xiao Yan didn't know if Yao Lao would truly be able to obtain the map fragment. After all, the people here were not ordinary individuals. Humph. The person who had cried out the price earlier snorted when he heard Yao Lao open his mouth to make a bid. The man hesitated for a moment before he clenched his teeth and said, one eight-colored pill lightning tier eight medicinal pill. A low uproar appeared within the large hall after his words sounded. Many people had not expected this fellow to take out an eight-colored pill lightning medicinal pill. Three pills. This voice was still faint, but it suppressed all the voice in the hall. Yao Lao caused that person to give up with a great unwillingness. Xiao Yan sighed in relief when that person ceased speaking. He was just about to speak when Yao Lao's voice appeared beside him, don't be happy too soon. Five pills. Xiao Yan's face twitched when he heard a voice filled with a cold sternness. His eyes searched for the origin of the voice that was being transmitted. He found a somewhat skinny figure seated on a stone chair. The skinny figure seemed to have sensed Xiao Yan's eyes since he suddenly turned his head. A pair of dark and stern eyes shot over like sharp arrows from under the doping, causing space itself to fluctuate. At the same time, an unusual pressure surfaced on Xiao Yan's body. Humph. Yao Lao let out a cold snort when the pressure formed around them. He randomly waved his sleeve, and the invisible pressure was destroyed in an instant. What a frightening strength this person has. Xiao Yan finally recovered and was quietly stunned in his heart, while Yao Lao exchanged blows with this mysterious person. Be careful. This person is an expert with half a foot in the Bansheng class. Yao Lao softly mentioned. His voice gained a solemnness for the first time. Xiao Yan's expression changed upon hearing this. This spatial trade fair was indeed a place with many hidden experts. Eight pills. Yao Lao coldly cried out after speaking to Xiao Yan. 
At this moment, his expression had gained a tight frown. Such a price had exceeded his estimate. Ha ha, this friend has bid the price of 88 colored pill lightning medicinal pill. Is there anyone who is still going to bid? Old man Bao Shan smiled as he asked a question. Old man Bao Shan's words caused the large hall to become silent for a moment. Many pairs of eyes were thrown toward the skinny man who had counterbid Yao Lao earlier. That skinny black-robed man smiled in a dark and cold manner when all these gazes swung over. He immediately opened his mouth and said, one nine-colored pill lightning tier eight medicinal pill. If you are able to offer a higher price, this map fragment will belong to you. This fellow is really crazy. Everyone present inhaled a gentle breath of cool air when they heard that the black-robed person was willing to take out a nine-colored pill lightning medicinal pill. They shook their heads and quietly made comments in their hearts. Xiao Yan's expression had also turned gloomy at this moment. He also possessed a nine-colored pill lightning medicinal pill in his hand. It was the pill beast that he had obtained from the Du Sheng remains last time. However, his losses would be too frightening if he bid the pill beast. After all, if this pill beast was reared properly, it might even be able to advance to a tier 9 medicinal pill in the future. At that time, its value would soar by hundreds of times. Even a Du Sheng class expert would be attracted by it. He would not take out a medicinal pill with such a potential no matter what. Yao Lao's finger gently pounded against the armrest. Although there was a doubting covering him, Xiao Yan was aware that his face consisted of a frown at this moment. He pulled his sleeves and slowly shook his head. This was not the moment to be impulsive. Even though they were unable to use proper means to obtain this map fragment, they would still be able to use other means to do so. Yao Lao slowly spread his hand when he saw Xiao Yan. He nodded and a low voice was transmitted into Xiao Yan's ear. The price is too great, but I am already aware of that person's identity. He is an old opponent. This time around, I will coincidentally be able to resolve the conflict from back then. Given Yao Lao's character, he would not simply watch this final map fragment leave. It was just as Xiao Yan had thought. Since they were unable to obtain it through proper means, they could only use some other means. Moreover, it was not the first time that he and Xiao Yan had done this. They also had to use other means in the Black Corner region in order to obtain another map fragment. It seemed that an old show was about to repeat itself. He <laughs> he. That skinny black robed person laughed in a low voice. After which, his eyes returned to old man Bao Shan at the middle of the hall. He waved his hand, and a small snow white rabbit appeared in it. An extremely dense pill fragrance filled the room the moment it appeared, causing the eyes of many to turn a little red. A nine-colored pill lightning medicinal pill was something that even a Bansheng class expert desired. Even less needed to be said about the elite Du Zuns. The skinny black-robed man rubbed this little rabbit with his hand. He also felt some pain, but he clenched his teeth the moment he thought of the purifying demon lotus flame. A glow rose from his hand that wrapped around the rabbit. After which, it was shot toward old man Bao Shan with lightning-like speed. While this nine-colored medicinal pill rushed across the large hall, many people felt an impulse to snatch it. However, it was fortunate that these people did not lose their reasoning. They did not do anything after struggling with the impulse in their hearts. Old man Bao Shan beckoned with his hand and received the cluster of light. After which, he carefully examined the snow white rabbit. He sensed the unbelievably pure energy within its body. Only then did he nod his head. His eyes contained a marvel. Clearly, he had not expected someone to take out such a medicinal pill as a bid. This friend, the transaction is complete. This map belongs to you. Old man Bao Shan carefully stored the rabbit. His finger flicked over the ancient map fragment. The map fragment turned into a ray of light that rushed toward the skinny black-robed old man. Finally, the man grabbed it with a pleased smile on his face. Xiao Yan slowly clenched his hand when the ancient map landed in the hands of that black-robed old man. A chill flashed within his dark black eyes. He needed to obtain this purifying demon lotus flame at any cost. Hence, he had to obtain this map fragment, even if this old fellow was someone who had half a foot in the Bansheng class. Ha ha, the last item of our spatial trade fair is not an object but some information. Although this information will spread through the central plains soon, the information we have here should be firsthand. Old man Bao Shan smiled after completing the ancient map transaction. His eyes scanned the hull as he said, relax, we will not ask for a reward for this information. However, due to it being a little shocking, we have placed it last. Everyone frowned when they heard old man Bao Shan's words. Everyone in the room stared at him with some doubt. 
Just what kind of information could old man Bao Shan hold with such regard? Old man Bao Shan smiled as he sensed a many uncertain eyes. His soft voice slowly echoed through the large hall. The legendary Bodhisattva ancient tree, rumored to be able to allow one to break through the ordinary and become a Sheng saint, has once again appeared after 10,000 years. End of chapter. Chapter 1397. Ancient Wasteland Region. Bodhisattva ancient tree? Old man Bao Shan's words were like a bomb that caused the entire hall to abruptly turn into an uproar. Some experts were unable to control the shock in their hearts as they suddenly stood up. The Bodhisattva ancient tree would enter the top three if every natural treasure across the entire Du Qi continent were to be ranked. The Bodhisattva ancient tree was also known as the Knowledge Reincarnation Tree. This tree would grow one cycle every 1,000 years. It would only mature after a hundred cycles. Most things would be eroded after such a long period of time. However, the Bodhisattva ancient tree existed outside of time. It could be considered one of the extremely ancient species of the continent. It was rumored that the Bodhisattva ancient tree appeared once every thousand years and would cause a huge commotion across the continent each time it appeared. Looking back at the long history of the continent, even elite Du Shengs had died while fighting over the Bodhisattva ancient tree. According to the records of some ancient books, only one Bodhisattva ancient tree grew in this world. It possessed its own intelligence and would hide deep underground after it appeared. No one would be able to find it, and it would only appear in the world when it was ready. Bodhisattva ancient tree, becoming a sheng saint, immediately. These were not empty words. The interior of the Bodhisattva ancient tree was the Bodhisattva heart. Those who obtained it would have their heart transformed into a bodhisattva heart, and becoming a saint would be a simple task. This was not mere rumor because an old expert had possessed such good luck. After swallowing the bodhisattva heart, this untalented two-star Du Zun broke through all the obstacles in his advancement in a simple fashion, and within a short five years, he reached the Du Sheng class. Shaking the entire continent in the process. This kind of divine effect caused everyone to go crazy. Whoever managed to obtain the Bodhisattva heart meant that they possessed a direct passage to advance to the Dusheng class, the current peak level of this world. Moreover, even if the Bodhisattva heart was eliminated from the picture, the slightly inferior Bodhisattva seed would also increase the chances of successfully advancing to the Dusheng class. Although it was not as terrifying as the Bodhisattva heart, it still possessed an irresistible allure to those at the peak of the Dusheng class, since the breakthrough to the Bansheng class was too difficult and dangerous. Some of the experts at the peak of the Du Zun class might not be able to reach that level even after a lifetime. At this moment, a Bodhisattva seed would make them go insane. In summary, the temptation of the Bodhisattva ancient tree to peak experts had reached a crazy stage. One could imagine just what kind of a great uproar this news would stir in the central plains. Huh. Yao Lao by the side let out a long sigh, while Xiao Yan's eyes revealed a stunned expression. One could sense the slight disbelief in his voice. This so-called information caused even someone with his mental fortitude to not remain completely calm. It is actually the Bodhisattva ancient tree. Yao Lao muttered after letting out a heavy sigh. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. His finger rubbed his storage ring. There was a Bodhisattva seat inside it. It was rumored that the Bodhisattva seed was able to sense the Bodhisattva ancient tree. However, why had he not discovered anything? Could it be he was too far away? Standing at the middle of the large hall, old man Bao Shan smiled as he heard everyone inhale a breath of cold air after being shaken by this news. Even he greatly coveted the Bodhisattva ancient tree. If the place it had appeared wasn't too dangerous, he would not have been able to restrain himself from leading his people over to search for the treasure. Old man Bao Shan, may I know where the Bodhisattva ancient tree has appeared? The shock in the hall continued for a moment before someone took the lead to ask, all the excited eyes present once again gathered on old man Bao Shan after this person asked a question. From the looks of it, they would not be able to control themselves and would attack old man Bao Shan if he refused to reply. Their reasoning was quite fragile because of the allure of the Bodhisattva ancient tree. Ha ha, everyone can rest assured that this elderly self will not hide anything now that I have spoken. Old man Bao Shan understood the thoughts in these people's hearts. He would naturally not use this matter as a joke. He laughed, the location where the Bodhisattva ancient tree has appeared is likely not a foreign one. It is the ancient wasteland region located on the northeastern border of the central plains. Ancient wasteland region? Many exclamations reverberated around the large hall after these words were said. 
those experts who had suddenly sat straight up earlier deflated with an anxious expression in their eyes. It is actually located in such a dangerous area. Xiao Yan slightly knit his brows. He had naturally heard about the ancient wasteland region. That area was probably the oldest place in the current Duki continent. It was also the forbidden ground of all humans. The weather inside was terrible, and poison permeated the air as fierce beasts roamed. These fierce beasts were descendants from ancient times. Some of them were not inferior to any tribe in the current magical beast world, with the exception of the ancient boy dragon. In other words, even the heaven demon phoenix tribe would perish if they entered. These beasts were bloodthirsty and violent. Although they were not intelligent, their strengths were extremely frightening. Even experts at the peak of the Du Zun class would not dare to say that they would be able to successfully leave the place alive. This was a truth provided by a countless number of years of blood lessons, because many experts had entered the wasteland in search of treasures. However, contact with them was eventually lost. Some renowned experts within the Central Plains were among those who had entered. As an increasing number of experts disappeared in the ancient wasteland region, its dangerous reputation spread further. Eventually, no one dared to step into it. Another factor was that this wasteland was a little far away, so this once dangerous land gradually faded from memory. However, no one had expected the Bodhisattva ancient tree to appear within the ancient wasteland region this time around. No wonder this old fellow would release this kind of information. With the strength of the reflecting treasure sect and the other two factions, they would be committing suicide if they entered the ancient wasteland region. They wished to attract more people to enter in order to gain some benefits from the chaos. Yao Lao slowly unraveled his thoughts. He was also deeply aware of the danger of the ancient wasteland region. He also understood why old man Bao Shan was so open-minded about sharing such news. Ha ha, every appearance of the Bodhisattva ancient tree results in an unnatural phenomenon. Everyone should gradually be able to sense it within a month. At that time, you will know that I am stating the truth. Old man Bao Shan smiled as he stated. I have already provided the information to everyone. This spatial trade fair has successfully been completed. Thank you all for participating. The atmosphere in the large hall was quiet for a moment before some people began to stand up before they walked out of the hall. We should also leave. The Bodhisattva ancient tree is indeed a mysterious thing. We should head over to take a look if we find the chance. Yao Lao softly commented when he saw that the trade fair had been concluded. This was a very good opportunity. If they could obtain the Bodhisattva heart, the route to advance to the Du Sheng class would be incomparably smooth. In other words, a Du Sheng would appear in the Falling Star Pavilion. They would then feel more confident if they were to fight the Hall of Souls. However, we must first obtain the ancient map. Yao Lao faintly laughed. He slightly turned his head. That skinny black-robed man, who had successfully bought the ancient map, had turned around and left. A cold smile slid across Yao Lao's face as he glanced at the his back. Let's go. Yao Lao got up. After which, he walked out of the large hall without turning his head. Xiao Yan and Tu swiftly followed. They were aware that an intense battle was inevitable. Yao Lao disappeared for a moment after the trade fair was concluded. After which, he returned swiftly before leading Xiao Yan's group out of this realm. He flew to the northwest. Finally, they glided through the desert and stopped on a steep mountain. This is a spot where they must pass. Given those three old demons' characters, they will definitely not take a detour, even if they possess a great treasure. Yao Lao looked into the distance and spoke in a feigned voice. Teacher, what is the background of those people? Xiao Yan nodded and inquired. An evil and strange sect called the Cloud Rain sect. This sect rears meat cauldrons to raise one's strength. These so-called meat cauldrons are talented girls who are given a key method to train. They will bitterly train for over a decade before the due key within their bodies is absorbed through the cloud rain sect's unique intercouse method. Of course, this kind of key method is too overbearing. The ladies whose due key has been absorbed usually die from old age within 10 days. The cloud rain sect has over a thousand disciples. Moreover, all of them are females, but they are all meat cauldrons for those three old demons to absorb. It is really a shameless sect. Kai Lin's and the little fairy doctor's faces turned a little cold after they heard Yao Lao's explanation. They are indeed shameless and were chased away from the central plains back then, but it is unexpected that they have returned. Yao Lao nodded and said. Back then, I had exchanged blows with one of those three and seriously injured him, but I was injured by the other two. Therefore, I did not take that person's life. 
it is surprising that I would come across them after so many years. These three old demons' evil reputations in the Central Plains were gained much earlier than the Shuhi Tianzin you met. The eldest, Jian He Zi, has already reached a nine change peak Du Zun. The second brother, Di Zhe Zi, has reached the eighth change, while the third, Ren He Zi, is at the sixth change. Their combined strength is likely able to contend against an elite Ban Sheng. Surprise flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes when he heard this information. These three old demons were indeed extraordinary. With this kind of strength, one would be considered top-notch even within the Central Plains. No wonder they could take out a nine-colored pill lightning tier 8 medicinal pill. Yao Lao suddenly lifted his head while Xiao Yan was continuing to make inquiries. He looked to the distant horizon and faintly said, they are here. End of chapter. Chapter 1398. Three Ghost Scorpion Demon. Xiao Yan's group's hearts shook when they heard Yao Lao's words. Their eyes looked to the front where a faint wind lightning sound was present. A couple of dozen seconds later, three black glows suddenly rushed over from the distance. The speed of the three black glows was extremely terrifying. Within a flash, they appeared a thousand feet away. However, they suddenly appeared to have sensed something when they were just about to enter the mountain where Yao Lao was located. They immediately paused, and three dark, cold and ruthless gazes shot over. They paused on the group on the mountain. Yao Chen? It is actually you. The three of them were stunned when they saw Yao Lao. A furious voice soon appeared. Xiao Yan's eyes observed the other party, while these three were exclaiming. The leader was a somewhat skinny figure. His face was dark and stern, and from the looks of it, he was the person who had made the bid at the trade fair earlier. There was another elder and a man, who appeared somewhat younger, behind him. Although the last man appeared young, both of his eyes revealed an age that was not any younger than the other two old demons. Other than the younger-looking man, whose appearance was a little better, the remaining two gave one a dark and chilly feeling. Moreover, the auras that were vaguely emitted from their bodies were quite terrifying. Three he demon ghosts, it has been a long time since we have met. Yao Lao placed his hands behind him and laughed. You are the person who had bid against the Olami earlier? The skinny old man, who was the leader, glared at Yao Chen in a ruthless manner before he suddenly demanded. Yao Lao smiled after seeing Jian He Zi recover. He did not say any unnecessary words. Hand over the ancient map. Tisk tisk. How unexpected. The renowned Yao Zunji, Yao Chen, on the continent is doing something like stopping someone and robbing treasure from them. Tian He Zi strangely laughed when he heard Yao Lao's words. Yao Lao smiled and spoke in an unconcerned manner, if it was someone else, I might have thought twice. Fortunately, it is the three of you. Therefore, I do not feel any mental burden. Other people might be considered humans, but I do not regard the few of you as such. Humph, Yao Chen, don't think that the three of us are afraid of you, just because you have advanced to the Bansheng class. Back then, we were able to beat you until you fled being injured. We are still able to do so today. The brutal-looking Di He Zi spoke with a dark and cold voice. Why don't you give it a try? We will also be able to resolve our grudges from back then. Yao Lao grinned. He stomped his foot on the ground, and his body appeared in front of those three in a ghost-like fashion. Monstrous Duki suddenly surged out of his body, and the sky suddenly turned dark. Wild wind raged and whistled across the sky. The expressions of Tian He Zi's group changed when they saw Yao Lao stirring such a force, especially Tian He Zi's expression. Although he was only half a step away from the Ban Sheng class, he understood just how large this difference was. An intense battle was unavoidable if they wished to escape today. Bang! Yao Lao did not give the three of them any extra time. He clenched his hand, and dark clouds surged from the sky as a 10,000-foot-large fire hand suddenly formed. After which, it explosively hurtled the Hezi trio. Attack together! A dark vicious expression flashed across the eyes of Tian Hezi's group when they saw Yao Lao attacking as he pleased. They let out a furious roar as Du Qi surged from their bodies. After which, they turned into 3,000-foot-large light pillars that ruthlessly collided with the enormous flame hand. Bang! The two collided and a frightening wind ripple surged out in all directions. The enormous mountains around were shaken by that energy ripple until they burst apart. Humph! As a frightening wind swept apart, Tian He Zi and his two brothers' footsteps staggered. They hurriedly took two steps back. A muffled voice was emitted from Tian He Zi's throat. He had suffered a small loss in this hurried cooperation of theirs. The strength of this old fellow is so terrifying. The three of them were unable to gain an advantage despite joining hands. The expressions of Tian He Zi's group changed. 
their eyes flickered. Suddenly, they turned to Xiao Yan's group on the mountain and sinisterly said, Third brother, those three are together with this old fellow. Capture them. Remember that they must live. The three of them would definitely enter into a bitter battle if they were to fight Yao Lao. Hence, it was better to capture Xiao Yan's group and use them as hostages. Only then would they be able to successfully escape. I. Ren Hezi looked into the distance when he heard this. An evil smile slid over his face as he nodded and said, give me a couple of minutes. His feet stepped on empty air after his voice sounded. He rushed in the direction of Xiao Yan's group. Yao Lao frowned when he saw this. He was just about to intervene when Yan Hezi and Di Hezi suddenly unleashed the Du Qi within their bodies until their limits. After which, they unleashed a tricky attack from all directions. You are seeking death. Yao Lao's eyes turned chilly when he saw this. Tian Hezi and the other two could barely fight him with their combined strength, yet they dared to separate. They were really committing suicide. He was not too worried about Xiao Yan's group. Although Ren Hezi was a six-change peak Du Zun, it would be impossible for him to finish off Xiao Yan's group within a short period of time. Murderous desires surged within Yao Lao's heart. The space around him swiftly became distorted. After which, he exchanged blows with Tian Hezi again and a frightening energy ripple once again spread across the sky. While Tian Hezi and his brother were pestering Yao Lao, Ren Hezi appeared a short distance in front of Xiao Yan's group with lightning-like speed. His heated eyes suddenly paused on Kai Lin and the little fairy doctor's well-proportioned and lovely figures. Ha ha, it is unexpected that I can meet two exquisite beauties. This is the greatest gain of this trip. Ren Hezi's eyes were incomparably hot as they looked at Kai Lin and the little fairy doctor. The appearance and demeanor of these two women was not what those meat cauldrons within the cloud rain sect could compare with. They had surpassed everything. Lute thoughts immediately began to grow wildly within his heart once he saw them. Kai Lin and little fairy doctor's pretty face gradually turned icy as they sensed Tren Hezi's lute eyes. Du Qi gathered with lightning-like speed in their hands. He he, die brat. Leave the beauties behind. Ren Hezi licked his lips. A punch was thrown toward Xiao Yan from across a distance. A frightening sonic boom was formed from his fist, and it rumbled across the sky. Bang! Xiao Yan's face was void of expression. His feet abruptly stomped on the ground. The mountain in front of him suddenly blasted apart as a hundred-foot-large hot lava cylinder shot out. It poured down from the sky and stirred clusters of flames on the mountaintop. Xiao Yan took the opportunity to glance at Yao Lao's battle in the distance after having blocked Ren Hezi's attack. At this moment, Tian Hezi and his brother were in a situation where they were completely overwhelmed. From the looks of the battle, they would not be able to endure for long. Huh. Xiao Yan softly sighed in his heart. Both of his hands formed numerous complicated hand seals and a clan tattoo surfaced between his brows. With its appearance, Xiao Yan's aura soared from the peak of an eight-star Du Zun to a three-change peak Du Zun. Ren Hezi was a six-change peak Du Zun expert. He was much stronger than Shu He Zun Ji. Hence, Xiao Yan had no choice but to be cautious since his opponent was considered the strongest Du Zun among those he had met and fought. Brat, you do indeed have some skills. However, the old me dislikes those who enjoy multiple women. You can rest assured that the old me will take good care of these two beauties after you die. Ren Hezi let out a sharp laugh after sensing Xiao Yan's soaring aura. Bang. Kai Lin's face turned extremely cold when she heard Ren Hezu's obscene words. Her lovely figure leaped into the sky and dark clouds churned. Her figure turned into a 10,000-foot-long seven-colored heaven-swallowing python. Her enormous body was hidden within the dark cloud, appearing like a dragon. Oh. This beauty's actual body is the extinct seven-colored heaven-swallowing python. Ha ha, how delicious. The old me likes it. Ren Hezi was startled when he saw Kai Lin turn into a seven-colored heaven-swallowing python, but he soon let out a loud laugh. Crash. Ren Hezi's loud laugh had just sounded when a colorful thunderbolt suddenly smashed down from the dark clouds. After having transformed, Kai Lin's aura had also soared. She was equivalent to an eight-star dues unhuman expert. However, Ren Hezi merely waved his sleeve in the face of such an attack. A wave of majestic Du Qi forcefully vanquished her attack. Woeful poison body, activate. The little fairy doctor's face was icy cold. Her hand seals changed, and her beautiful long black hair suddenly turned silvery white. A Du Qi glow that contained a fatal poison rushed toward Ren Hezi with lightning-like speed. Ha! Huh? This beauty has the woeful poison body? Ha ha, all of you are exquisite. 
Ren Hezi once again laughed out loud as he sensed the lethal poison within the pillar, but he did not appear relaxed. His body hurriedly pulled back as he dodged this lethal poison pillar. The woeful poison body was too intense. It would be somewhat troublesome if he touched even a minuscule amount. These two beauties are really ruthless. One is a seven-colored heaven-swallowing python, while the other has a woeful poison body. With the both of them joining hands, an ordinary peak du zun would really be no match for them. However, he he, they have unfortunately met this elderly self. Ren he zi laughed in a strange manner. The lewd smile on his face became even denser, but he was just about to attack when his expression suddenly changed. A terrifying energy ripple that caused a fear to appear in his heart suddenly unfurled from the distance. A shock flashed across Ren he zis eyes when he sensed this energy ripple that could destroy everything. He hurriedly raised his head and saw five clusters of flame suspended in front of the black-clothed young man on the mountaintop. Other than the last type of flame, the remaining four types of flames caused his expression to drastically change. Four types of heavenly flames? Xiao Yan saw the drastic change on Ren He Zi's face, but his expression did not change. A dense cold smile was lifted on the corner of his mouth. This was the first time he had added the life-transforming flame, after having refined the bone-chilling flame. Four types of heavenly flame and one fake heavenly flame. It was a five-colored angry Buddha lotus flame that Xiao Yan had never used before. End of chapter. Chapter 1399? Four and half-colored angry Buddha lotus flame. This brat is really mysterious. He only possesses the strength of someone at the peak of an eight-star Du Zun, yet he is able to unleash such a frightening strength. Ren He Zi's expression was volatile as he stared at the flames churning in Xiao Yan's hands, and a great wave rose within his heart. However, this shock quickly turned into a dark ruthlessness. He suddenly threw a punch, and the space in front of him emitted a crashing sound as it burst apart. A dozens of foot large dark black spatial line appeared. That spatial crack became a black ruthless poisonous snake that rushed toward Xiao Yan with lightning like speed. Bang! An enormous spatial crack quickly spread across the sky, but it was still a couple hundred feet away from Xiao Yan when a couple of colorful thunderbolts suddenly smashed down from the sky. They ruthlessly struck the spreading crack, causing the spatial crack to pause momentarily before it quickly exploded apart. The expression in Ren He Zi's eyes sank when his attack was blocked. He lifted his eyes to look at the enormous seven-colored heaven-swallowing python in the sky and strangely laughed, Beauty, since you insist on intervening, the old me shall finish off the both of you first. Ren He Zi's body flashed after he uttered those words. He immediately turned into a ray of light that shot toward the seven-colored heaven-swallowing python in the sky. A punch was immediately thrown ruthlessly forward, and a low and deep sonic boom was formed as it whizzed toward the Kailin. Chi. Kailin's thousand-foot-long tail was suddenly swung when she saw Ren He Zi's attack. The frightening strength caused space itself to tear apart. It ruthlessly collided with the powerful palm wind, and a frightening storm swept across the sky. The seven-colored heaven-swallowing python, which Kai Lin had turned into, was forced back thousands of feet. He he, beauty, you are no match for this elderly self. Ren He Zi lewdly laughed after forcing back Kai Lin with a punch. He was just about to turn around when many sharp rushing wind sounds appeared beside his ear, and do key pillars with lethal poisons trickily pierced toward a couple of fatal spots on his body. Ren He Zi frowned when he sensed this attack. His feet stepped on empty air and the space behind him distorted into something like a metal wall. The do key pillars collided with it and emitted clear clang sounds. Two beauties, why do you need to fight all out for this brat? The both of you will definitely enjoy yourselves by following the old me. Ren He Zi's laughed, but before he could finish speaking, he saw Xiao Yan press the five types of flames together in the distance. His face involuntarily twitched. This madman. He is actually merging the heavenly flames. The look in Ren He Zi's eyes was altered. Although he didn't know why this brat was doing something so crazy, his instincts told him that he would end up dying if he allowed this brat to continue. He immediately rotated his body and ceased bothering with Kai Lin and the little fairy doctor. He turned into a ray of light that shot toward Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan, be careful. The little fairy doctor hurriedly issued a reminder when she saw Ren He Zi move. She also hurriedly moved her body and followed. Xiao Yan lifted his head when he sensed the intense sound of rushing wind bull toward him. Xiao Yan looked at Ren He Zi's dense dark face as he headed his way. A cold laugh sounded from Ren He Zi. Green red bone wings spread swiftly behind Xiao Yan, and a silver glow flashed under his feet. 
His body appeared a thousand feet away, causing Renhezi to miss. What frightening speed! Renhezi felt shock materialize in his heart when he saw Xiao Yan dodge him in such a relaxed manner. Before he could continue chasing Xiao Yan, two extremely ferocious attacks were launched from behind him. Those attacks came from Kai Lin and the little fairy doctor, who had followed him over. Ren Hezi did not dare to allow these two, who had joined hands, to randomly attack him. He had no choice but to turn around. Du Qi surged out from his body as he ruthlessly collided with the two attacks behind him. Bang! The three of them engaged in an intense battle. Thunder-like explosions resounded across the sky as wave after wave of frightening force spread like floodwater. They shook the sky until space became distorted. Moan. Kaolin and the little fairy doctor emitted a groan from their mouths when they violently collided with Ren Hezi. Their bodies were forced back. Although their bodies' constitutions were different from others, there was too wide a gap between Ren Hezi and them. It was difficult for them to win even if they joined hands. Although they did not possess the strength to be victorious, the two of them continued to persevere. They completely ignored the injuries that had appeared in their bodies from the counterattack. Their bodies had just stabilized when many lightning-like attacks continued to strike Ren Hezi. They caused Ren Hezi to react with chaotic responses. While their battle had become extremely heated, Tian Hezi's and Di Hezi's faces had become a little pale as they fought Yao Lao. The two of them together were no match for Yao Lao. If they weren't great at cooperating, their defenses would have long since been breached. Even though this was the case, it was obvious that they were unable to endure for long. Third brother, what are you doing? Why are you still showing mercy to ladies at this moment? Are you seeking death? Tian Hezi and his brother turned paler after they were ruthlessly forced back by Yao Lao once again. Their eyes glanced into the distance as they involuntarily cried out. None of them had expected Ren Hezi to be held back by two ladies, whose strength did not exceed that of an eight-star Du Zun. The pressure around Tian Hezi and his brother suddenly increased after their furious voices sounded. A thousand feet large flame fist fell from the sky and ruthlessly smashed into them. Although they had Duki protecting them, that frightening wind still struck the both of them until they spat out a mouthful of fresh blood and flew backwards. This is bad, Big Brother's group cannot endure any longer. Ren Hezi's heart sank when he saw Tian Hezi and his brother spit out blood and withdraw. Since I am unable to capture that brat, I shall capture a beauty as a hostage. Otherwise, we will be finished today. This thought lingered within Ren Hezi's heart. He gave up on capturing Xiao Yan as his palm shattered an enormous colorful thunderbolt. After which, his large hand suddenly grabbed at the little fairy doctor. The space around her instantly stilled. Bang! The little fairy doctor's expression changed when she sensed space still around her. Duki surged from her body, causing the solid space around her to tremble, but she was not able to break free. Tisk tisk, beauty, the old me shall bring you with me this time around. Ren Hezi's figure flashed away, while the little fairy doctor was attempting to shatter the distorted space and retreat. He appeared in front of the little fairy doctor and gave her a lewd smile. His large hand reached toward her. Woo! Kai Lin in the sky felt her heart sink when she saw this person give up on targeting Xiao Yan. Instead, he had decided to capture the little fairy doctor. She hurriedly activated the thunderbolt strength within the dark clouds and shot them toward Ren Hezi from all directions. Ren Hezi merely clenched his hand when these attacks came down, and they were completely shattered by a distortion in space. Beauty, you are mine. Ren Hezi let out a strange laugh after shattering all the thunderbolts. His eyes were extremely heated as he looked at the expression on the little fairy doctor's face. His hand was about to grab her shoulder. It is too early for you to be happy. As Ren Hezi's large hand was about to grab the little fairy doctor, a cold laugh suddenly reverberated behind him. The Ren Hezi's face changed when he heard this voice. He suddenly turned around and his eyes shrank. A exquisite basin-sized five-colored fire lotus cut through the air and rushed his way. This fire lotus contained five colors, and fire seedlings continued to rise around it. A frightening extermination force emanated from it. Even Ren Hezi felt his limbs become ice cold because of this annihilation force. Such a might was comparable to some Tian class middle-level do skills. Thick Earth Bell. Ren Hezi's limbs might have been icy cold, but he did not lose his reasoning. His hand seals rapidly changed as Du Qi surged from his body in all directions, and an enormous bell quickly appeared. His body quickly hid within it. Sizzle. An enormous snake tail rushed down from the sky when Ren Hezi used his defensive Du skill. 
It swiftly wrapped around the little fairy doctor and pulled her away. If you wish to find a beauty, you can go and find one in hell. Xiao Yan's expression was dark and cold as he glanced at Ren Hezi in the large bell. Ren Hezi's eyes had revealed a panic. A cold smile was lifted on the corner of Xiao Yan's mouth as the bone wings on his back were flapped. His body withdrew with lightning-like speed. At the same time, the seal formed by his hands changed. Explode. After this word was spat out from Xiao Yan's mouth, the five-colored fire lotus suddenly paused next to the bell shape. It subsequently exploded in front of Ren Hezi's shocked eyes. Bang. The entire place trembled because of this explosion. All the mountains within a 10,000-foot radius emitted a boom as they were blasted into dust. In an instant, the mountain range had turned into a desert. Sand and rocks flew while smoke permeated the air. A five-colored fire lotus, no. This could only be described as a four-and-a-half-colored angry Buddha lotus flame. Was this terrifying? Forget about Ren Hezi. Under this frightening explosion, even an expert with John Hezi's strength would be turned into nothing in an instant. End of chapter. Chapter 1400. Obtaining the Ancient Map. A thick dust spread across the sky. The surrounding mountains vanished in the blink of an eye. The area within a 10,000-foot radius turned into flat land. Even a large rock did not exist. The enormous heaven-swallowing python shook in the distant sky. It quickly turned into an enchanting figure. With a wave of her sleeve, a wild wind blew and suppressed the sand and dust permeating over air around her. As the sand and dust fell, a black-clothed skinny figure appeared within Kai Lin's and the little fairy doctor's sight. Both ladies heaved a sigh of relief within their hearts when they saw that Xiao Yan was fine. Huh. Xiao Yan wiped the cold sweat off his forehead. This was the first time that he had unleashed an angry Buddha lotus flame, created from five types of flames. Its might had exceeded his expectations. Of course, its exhaustion was also quite frightening. Even with his current strength, his body still felt empty after unleashing this fire lotus. Xiao Yan let out a long sigh from his mouth. He lifted his head, and his eyes swept over the spot where Ren Hezi had been located earlier. Currently, that spot was completely empty. There was no sign of anyone present. Ren Hezi's aura had disappeared with his figure. Nothing was left, and he seemed to vanish from this world. Killing an elite six-change peak Du Zun with just one strike this was the might of the merger of four types of heavenly flames and a fake heavenly flame. One could imagine just how frightening Xiao Yan's strength would be if he could truly merge five types of heavenly flames. It was likely that even a true elite Ban Sheng would be turned into nothing by that one strike. Are you alright? Kai Lin and the little fairy doctor quickly appeared beside Xiao Yan. They hurriedly inquired when they saw his somewhat pale face. I'm fine. Xiao Yan took out a medicinal pill and stuffed it into his mouth. He shook his head. The exhaustion of an angry Buddha lotus flame soared each time a flame was added. Hence, even though his strength had rose, he still felt it was difficult to use this fire lotus. The frightening activity that was created by Xiao Yan was naturally sensed by Yao Lao's opponents in the distance. That terrifying extermination strength from earlier caused even Yao Lao to feel a palpitation in his heart. The strength that was formed from the merger of heavenly flames was really too terrifying. However, the only one in the world who could perfectly control heavenly flames, which naturally resisted each other, was Xiao Yan since he practiced a flame mantra and also possessed an extremely powerful spiritual strength. Third brother? Tian Hezi and his brother were stunned by this unexpected situation. They looked around the massive plains below as their bodies involuntarily shuddered. Their eyes were incomparably frightened as they looked at the black-clothed young man in the sky. Even they were unable to create such a frightening destructive force, yet this brat, who seemed to be a peak 8-star Du Zun, was able to achieve such a force? This brat is too mysterious. DEZ swallowed a mouthful of saliva as he muttered to himself. Where is third brother? The corner of Tian Hezi's mouth twitched. He quickly recovered and hurriedly swept his eyes around, but he was shocked to discover that he was unable to sense Ren Hezi's aura. It seems that he has been blasted apart by this brat until nothing remained. Di Hezi's voice was filled with disbelief. He had never expected Ren Hezi, whose strength had reached a six-change peak Du Zun, to end up meeting such a fate because of this brat. A shock surged into Tian Hezi's eyes when he heard this. Even if he used all his strength, it was impossible to destroy Ren Hezi until nothing remained. That brat. Let's quickly leave. A dense fear finally surged into Tian Hezi's heart at this moment. His eyes were afraid as they looked at Xiao Yan in the distance. 
If Xiao Yan were to throw another one of those damn things over, he was not confident that he could survive such a frightening explosion. He lost the courage to continue battling, and with a low cry, he turned around and fled. Di Hezi nodded when he heard Tian Hezi's words. Remaining behind at this moment was suicidal. Will you be able to leave? However, an elderly laughter suddenly resounded across the sky when those two were planning to escape amid this chaos. Soon after, a lifelike giant flame hand was once again formed in the sky. After which, it shuttled through air with enlightening-like speed as it grabbed at Tian Hezi and his brother. Yao Chen, you should not go overboard. Tian Hezi viciously let out a screech when he saw Yao Lao attacking again. At the same time, both he and Di Hezi hurriedly turned around. Powerful Du Qi erupted from their palms and ruthlessly collided with the enormous flame palm. It doesn't matter if the both of you die. Yao Lao coldly laughed. His attack became even more vicious. With a wave of his sleeve, his large flame hand forcefully shattered all their Du skills and ruthlessly slammed into their bodies. Bang. Tian Hezi and his brother were like cannonballs as they ruthlessly flew after suffering such a heavy attack. They forcefully landed on the ground and formed 2,000-foot-wide pits. Grug. Tian Hezi's and his brother's faces were ghastly while they stayed in the large pits. A dense blood trace hung on the corner of their mouths. Their clothes had been shattered at this moment. Their eyes became extremely vicious as they stared at Yao Lao's group in the sky, but they did not charge forward. Their bodies moved as they endured their serious injuries and separated, fleeing in two different directions. Yao Lao slammed his foot down after seeing the two flee. His body seemed to teleport as he appeared in front of Di Hezi. He grabbed with his large hand and space itself sealed around Di Hezi's body. The old me will drag you along even if I die. Di Hezi's eyes were blood red and ferocious as they stared at Yao Lao, even if his body could not move. The Du Qi in his body became chaotic. This fellow was planning on self-destructing at this moment. Yao Lao was cold and indifferent as he stared at Di Hezi. His palm was as swift as lightning as it smashed into Di Hezi's chest. A destructive force surged into Di Hezi's body like floodwater, and an instant later, it destroyed all of his life force. The chaotic Du Qi within Di Hezi's body swiftly disappeared at this instant, and the life within his eyes quickly vanished. He slowly lowered his head. This old ghost, whose immoral reputation was once renowned across the central plains, had finally died today. Yao Lao took Di Hezi's storage ring after killing him. He tossed it toward Xiao Yan's group. After which, his eyes were indifferent as they followed the direction Tian Hezi had fled. He informed Xiao Yan's group in a low voice, check if the ancient map is inside. I will chase that fellow. Yao Lao's figure vanished the moment his words sounded. His aura chased after Tian Hezi with great speed. Xiao Yan caught the storage ring after watching Yao Lao's figure disappeared. He spread his other hand, and another storage ring was revealed. It naturally belonged to Ren Hezi. Di Hezi and Ren Hezi were currently dead, and the spiritual imprints on their storage rings were extremely vulnerable. Xiao Yan swept over the spiritual imprints, and they were removed. After which, his spiritual strength examined the rings, and his brows were knit. It's not in them? Kai Lin asked after seeing Xiao Yan's knit brows. I, perhaps it is with Jian Hezi. He is, after all, the big brother. Xiao Yan shook his head. He immediately clenched his hand, and a flickering golden scroll suddenly appeared in his hand. What is this? Kao Lin and the little fairy doctor were startled when they saw this somewhat familiar scroll. The King Kong glass body that had been auctioned at the trade fair. It is unexpected that Di Hezi had gotten his hands on it. It has really benefited us. Xiao Yan held the scroll and involuntarily laughed. This King Kong glass body was a Tian class low level do skill. Earlier, Xiao Yan had been interested in it, but he had ultimately not bid for it. He even felt a little regretful afterwards. Unexpectedly, this thing was delivered into his hands. We did not spend any money, but we ended up obtaining a lot of benefits. The little fairy doctor covered her mouth and softly laughed. These three people had used women as meat cauldrons to train. They deserve such a fate. Kai Lin indifferently remarked. Xiao Yan nodded. These three fellows had done all sorts of evil things in their lives and had ruined an unknown number of ladies. It was retribution for them to end up with such a fate. I wonder how things are on teacher's side. Xiao Yan lifted his head. His eyes looked in the direction where Yao Lao had disappeared as he wondered. Relax, given Yao Lao's strength, Tian Hezi will not be able to pull off any tricks. The little fairy doctor replied. Xiao Yan nodded. 
He was just about to speak when the rushing sound of wind was transmitted from the horizon, and a familiar figure hurried over with lightning-like speed. The familiar figure appeared in front of Xiao Yan and the two ladies within a couple of flashes. That figure was Yao Lao, who had chased after Tian Hezi earlier. Ha ha, it is really enjoyable this time around. Yao Lao loudly laughed. He could not resist the joy within his heart the moment he appeared. These three he demon ghosts had been enemies with him since a long ago. He had gotten rid of a blotch in his heart by being able to finish them off. Teacher? Xiao Yan smiled and asked. Yes. Yao Lao knew what Xiao Yan was thinking. He immediately smiled and extended his hand as an ancient map fragment appeared in it. It clearly looked like the final map fragment. Xiao Yan heaved a sigh of relief when he saw the ancient map fragment. His hands trembled as he took this ancient map fragment. He had searched for all the map fragments for over a decade in order to gather them all. It was really the case of the heavens not letting those who truly put an effort down. He had gathered all of the map fragments. Purifying demonic lotus flame. You will ultimately be mine. An extreme excitement surged into Xiao Yan's eyes as he looked at the ancient map fragment in his hand. End of chapter.